exciting freshman basketball matchup between the Bennington Bengals and Cleveland Central Catholic. Today, the Bengals are looking for their first win here at home against the Central Catholic. And here's the tip. The Bengals win the tip. It's tip back to number one, Antoine Livingston. has the ball, the tag game, he gets foul, jump ball actually, on the call. So it'll be Central Catholic's ball here. Bengals showing a bit of pressure here. Antoine picks him up, number two going down the sideline. Central Catholic puts it up and it's good. Central Catholic up to the zero. Austin Cadell brings the ball up. Makes a move, gives it back to Antoine. Antoine's driving, he steps back. He finds Antoine in the corner. Antoine's driving, he puts up a shot, it's off. Rebound tipped, but back into the hands of Central Catholic. Seems to be an injured player down for Central Catholic. Central Catholic's ball here. Taken out of bounds. Well, and Bengals showing his press. Austin picks him up. Central Catholic has him the post. They pass it out. Number two has the ball. He picked up his dribble. Central Catholic is driving. Puts it up with the left. And he finishes. Bengals got the ball. Antoine bringing it up the court. Gets past him. Austin with the pump fake. Pull up mid range. It's good. Bengals first bucket of the game. Austin Cadell. Travion picks him up for court. And over the cross court. It's stolen but got back by Central Catholics. And they're going to miss a man at the free throw line. They dump it down low. One dribble up. It's off. Rebound to Central Catholic. Puts it back up. Misses. Rebounded by the Bengals. Amari. Antoine now pushing the break. He goes up, he's fouled on the layup. Antoine Livingston will shoot two free throws here. Fouls on number 32 of Central Catholic. Antoine now to the line. First free throw up, off the back rim. 522 left to go in the first quarter. Bengals down to Central Catholic with the score of two to four. Antoine here with his second free throw. It's up and it's good. Bengals showing a press once again. He picked up his dribble. Antoine picks him up full court. He dumps it off and he puts it up and he misses it. Central Catholic back again with the rebound. Puts it up left hand, misses again. Central Catholic comes away with the rebound. But Antoine gets a steal. He's pushing it. And he throws a turnover, but the Bengals got it back and then turned it back over. It'll be Central Catholic's ball there. Out of bounds on number 15, Trayvon, Hendricks, Trayvon Stewart, excuse me. And he's with that pressure again. Antoine picks him up. Trey misses the steal. Push in. McCree with the layup. Misses it on the left side. Also Cadell with the rebound. Coach Loser saw something he didn't like, so he decides to call timeout here for the Bengals, his first of the game. 
he has with four remaining here in this half. here to start the half trying to make Central Catholic the force turnover. Central Catholic has done a good job of keeping their composure in the back in the backcourt, not causing too many turnovers and finding the open man, just not making any layups. It'll be Bengals ball coming out. Central Catholic back showing no press. Antoine Walker to take it out. Give it to Antoine Livingston. Antoine's pushing it up. No one seems to pick him up. Austin with the three, a deep one. Off the front rib, Antoine picks it up. Trayvon gets the rebound, and he puts it up, and it's good. Offensive rebound for Trayvon Stewart. And the Bengals get a steal, hit out of bounds, but still blue ball. Central Catholic's ball. It seemed it was out on Central Catholic. Central Catholic calls a timeout here. Coming out of the timeout, though, it'll be Central Catholic's ball. Bengals up five to four here, still in the first quarter. Both teams use a timeout apiece. There the Bengals are again with that pressure in the backcourt, trying to cause turnovers there. Baseline drive, puts it up, and it's off. Rebounded by Central Catholic. Tries to get it in, but it's almost stolen by the Bengals. Now they're pushing it. They find someone in the corner. Misses it. Bengals with the ball. Now Central Catholic with the ball. Puts it up with the left and finishes. Bengals now pushing the ball. Antoine finds Amari. Amari's driving. He gets fouled there on the tape. Number 25 and 21 enter the game while 3 and 23 exit the game for Central Catholic. Tegan, try to find Tegan on the inbound. Can't get him now. Central Catholic's pushing the ball. Number 21 going up the right side behind the back. Picks up his dribble, almost stolen by Antoine. Finds a man in the corner, shots up, no good. Rebounded by Central Catholic. Five Central Catholic was fouled by number 34, Amari, for the Bengals. That's only the Bengals' first foul here in the quarter, while Central Catholic has three fouls this quarter. Number five here shooting for CCC. Knocks down the first one. Here comes the second free throw. It's up, it's good. Trayvon inbounds it to Antoine, Antoine bringing it up, crosses over to the middle, 
dumps it off to Amari, but Amari couldn't handle it. Now CCC got to steal. They're pushing it. They try to pass it. Cross court is stolen by Tegan. Tegan pushing up, gives it to Antoine. Antoine's pushing. He pulls up from three. It's up, and it's off to the right. Rebounded by CCC. CCC hits the outlet. They're pushing. Picks up his dribble, and he traveled. He traveled by Central Catholic. Bengals will get the ball back here. Antoine pushing it up. They give it to Trayvon. Trayvon dribbling right. Picks up his dribble, puts it up. It's off to the left. Amari with the rebound, but it was out of bounds. All he tried to get it. So turnover there for the Bengals. CCC has the ball. Checking into the game is 25, Patrick Lloyd coming in for Amari, who's picked up two early fouls in the only the first quarter. You gotta watch the fouls, you can't get down this game, especially a big piece like Amari. Seems to be a bit of an issue on the transfer. CCC pushing the ball, picks up his dribble, goes to the cross court, Trayvon picks him up, picks up his dribble, He's dead. Trying to find someone. He gets it into number 20. They get into the post. Yeah. Gets it back out. You can see. Squeeze it to the lane. Back up top. Pump break. Drives left. Goes up with the left. Foul and going for CCC. And one, number one of CCC. Foul was on number one. Antoine Livingston. Austin Cadell's coming to check back into the game for Antoine Walker. And here comes Gavin Laster coming into the game for Antoine Livingston. At the line for CCC, Sias Jones. This is the end one. Checking into the game for CCC. Black coming into the game. Davin pushing the ball up the court. Between the legs, cross. Gives it to Tegan on the wing. Tegan's driving. Pat Lloyd, Pat Lloyd fumbles it a bit. Pat Lloyd has it. And he's jumping the ball. Driving violation on the Bengals. Out of bounds. Still CCC ball. CCC enters it. They find number three up top. Bring him within that room to shoot, and he shoots it, and it's off to the left, off the left side of the backboard. Dooney with a fast break, dumps it off the back. Pat misses the layup on the left side. CC gets a rebound. Pat comes back, gets a steal. Oh, CC remains with possession. John Payne in the corner. He puts it up, and it's an air ball. Pat Lloyd with the rebound. He's pushing it. He's pushing it. He gets ripped from behind by number four. Uh, CCC pushing it ahead. Number 20 picks up his dribble. Four with it back. Puts up a three. It's good. Tate with the three for CCC. Austin with the ball, he's pushing it. Gets hit on the step through. They're gonna call it on the shot, so Austin's gonna get two shots here from the free throw line. Checking into the game is number 11, Owen Slemp. Coming out is Trayvon Stewart. Austin with two shots here at the line. Bengals down 14 to five, a minute 12 left to go in the first quarter. Austin with the first free throw. And it's good. Now here comes Owen Slam, number 11. 
Trayvon exits the game. Austin with the second one, and it's good. Bengals back off with the pressure. Drives on Tegan, puts it up and finishes. Tate with the bucket. Austin gets over in the corner. Austin's back. Thinks it left three. Now shoots the three. In and out. Owen with the rebound. Tries to put it back. Misses. Now ball tipped out of bounds by number 20. Kenneth Gibbs of CCC. So it's still Bengals ball here. 43 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Bengals hit Patrick Roy Tegan, comes back to the corner, puts it up, and it's good. Three-pointer for the Bengals. Tegan Fischel with the three. Under 30 seconds now, let's go here in the first quarter. Austin pokes it, oh, they call a foul on Austin. Going for the steal on Black. That's now four fouls on the Bengals here in the first quarter. So it'll still be CCC ball, 25 seconds left to go. They inbound it, picks up the dribble high. The three with it up top, Austin awesome defending him. Austin picks up number three, Black. Black drives pass, Austin is blocked out of bounds by Patrick Roy. 3.7 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. CCC ball under the basket. They get it to number five. Patrick playing defense, he puts it up and they call a foul on Patrick Roy. Says he hit him in the shoulder. So before we end the first quarter, there'll be two shots for number five with CCC, Raymond Rose. He's getting two shots from the line. Here's the first one, it's up and it's short. Second one here from the line. It's up and it's off the back of the line. So the score remains the same. Bengals 10, Central Catholic 16. Five re-enters the game here for the Bengals. Antoine here pushing it up. Driving right, he puts up a right-handed leg, gets fouled. So two shots here for Antoine. Fouls on number two, Deron of Central Catholic. First one's up and it's good. Antoine Livingston with the free throw. 
Second one's up, it's short. Rebounded though by Trayvon. Antoine gets it back, he puts up a deep three. Trayvon with another rebound. Power dribbles, but he gets tied up. It's a dribble, or it's a jump ball, excuse me. And it'll be Central Catholic's ball. Number two on the way, puts up a three, and it's good. Now Bengals trying to push the break while Central Catholic gets back. Antoine's pushing, he's driving right, puts up a right-handed layup off the front rim. Amari with the rebound, and then he gets fouled on the rebound. So it's Bengals ball. Dooney re-enters the game for Antoine Livingston. Amari to take it out for the Bengals. Amari hits Austin in the corner. Gives it to Dooney. Dooney's driving. He kicks it out to Antoine. Antoine puts up a three. In and out. Trayvon with the rebound. Trayvon puts it up and it's good. Bengals showing no pressure. Just getting back on defense now. Dooney picks up. Black, Black puts up a layup, misses, rebound to Amari, gives it to Antoine. Antoine, Bengals got numbers, he throws a turnover to Central Catholic. Central Catholic now pushing it. Drives baseline, he throws a turnover. Bengals have numbers once again. Trayvon's taking all the way, misses the layup. Antoine hits Dooney, up top for the three, back rim. CCC pushing it, gives it up to number five. Five goes up and he misses the right-handed layup. Austin finds Trayvon all the way down court. Trey puts it up and he's fouled. Trayvon will now be shooting two here from the line. It's a good find by Austin, throwing it all the way down the court. First one, banks it in. Here comes Tegan re-entering the game. Coming out the game will be Omari. Number three of Central Catholic, Hector Black already has picked up three fouls just here in the first half. Trey here with the second free throw. It's up and misses off the backboard. It's the rim. Central Catholic pushing it. He finds a man wide open, but he drops it. Trey with the steal. Austin pushing it now. Austin slows it down. Trey heads up top, hits, shoots a three. Off the rim. Austin picks up his man full court. Dooney coming over to help, double team. And Antoine gets a steal. And he's pushing it, slows it down a little bit, hits Dooney. Dooney finds Austin. Austin hop steps into the lane for the layup. <laughs> Bengals are fighting back into this game. Just a one possession game now. Bengals drop into a 2 3, and it's another steal. CCC got it back. Dead in the corner. Austin with another steal. Austin pushing it. He hits Antoine. Stolen by Central Catherine at the 21. Teron Peoples, but it's stolen again by Austin. Stolen again by Central Catholic. Central Catholic hits a man in the corner. He puts it up, short off the front rim. Trey pushing it now. Off his foot, Dooney gets it. Dooney hits Trey. Trey puts it up, gets fouled on the layup. So Trey will have two shots coming up now. Cisa enters the game now for number 10, Antoine Walker. Trey 
with the second free throw. He puts it up. Tipped by Austin. Dooney gets the rebound. Austin shoots a corner three, and it's up, and it's good. Austin Cadell with another triple here in the first half. Now it's a tie game. Bengals still in that 2-3 zone. Austin goes for the steal, but picks up a foul. That's two fouls now on Austin here in the first half. Central Catholic gets it in. Is number two on the way. Angelo goes for the steal, and he gets the steal. The Central Catholic got it back, tries to throw it off of Angelo. They're calling a jump ball. Christopher Crosby enters the game now for the Bengals. Timeout, Central Catholic. Central Catholic has four fouls here just in the second quarter. And with that fifth foul, the Bengals will be shooting two free throws from the line. Bengals got to start attacking the paint more, start getting fouled like they have been the entire quarter to try to get some easy free throws to extend to, make, to gain the lead in this game. Central Catholic takes the lead, 20 to 19. 3.27 left to go here in the second quarter. Substitution for Central Catholic, number 20 enters the game as number two, Duran, exits the game. The second one's up and it's off. Trey had the rebound, lost number one, puts it up a fading left-handed layup and it goes in. Dooney now pushing the break. Dooney with behind the back, hits CJ in the corner. CJ throws it back to Dooney. Dooney hits Trey at the up top. Trey gets ripped, Trey still going, and it's a blocking foul on Central Catholic. So that'll be the fifth foul of the quarter for Central Catholic, which means Trey will be shooting two free throws now, and the Bengals will be in the bonus for the rest of the second quarter. Trey with the first free throw, it's up, and it's off the back rim. Entering the game now. At the scorer's table will be Owen Slemp, getting Trey Stewart the shooter. Trey's second one is up, rattles out of the rim. Trey with the steal behind the back, loses it but gets it back. Tip back to Tegan. Tegan hits Ange in the corner, Ange puts up a three. Misses off the back rim. Trey with another big rebound. Trey puts it up, but he gets fouled. <laughs> Trey with 
Trey is killing on the offensive boards here in the second, in the first half. Trey with the first free throw. Off the, falls in off the back rim. Coach Lozier arguing with the ref about Angelo's three being fouled on the three. Trey's second free throw. Puts it up, off the back rim again, tipped. CCC recovers the ball. Tegan with the steal. Tegan dribbles it, but he gets ripped. Stolen by Central Catholic. And number four, Central Catholic. Devontae just throws it away. Owen Slent now enters the game for Trey Beyond. And bringing it up now, passes it back to Booney. Booney hits Owen. Owen's driving on the right left side, puts it up with the right hand, and it's good. Tie game now here. Under 2.30 left to go. Stolen by Dooney. Dooney driving. He hits Ange. Ange with a fast break layup, and it's good. Bengals take their first lead of the game, 24-22. Bengals staying in that 2-3 zone. Ange with the tip. Picks up his dribble. Throws a cross-court pass. CCC with the ball. It's 21 on the wing. 21 puts up a three off the left side of the rim. Dooney gets the rebound, tries to hit Tegan, but it's stolen, and CCC comes back with the layup. Dooney now pushing the break. Tie game here, under two minutes left to go. Tegan with a deep three, and it's good! Tegan, Fischl with the three. Bengals up 27-24, stolen by Dooney once again. Hits Angelo again, goes up under the under. Misses the layup. CCC pushing the break. Angelo foul. Picks up his foul there. That's Angelo's first foul of the game. Third team foul of the second quarter. Bengals up 27-24. 1.30 left to go here in the first half. CCC has a side out. They enter it. Bengals still in that 2-3 zone. Cross court pass number four. Tegan picks him up. Passes him off to Angelo. Back to number four. He puts up a three. It's off the back rim. CCC with an O board. Kicks it to the corner. Shots up. Air ball. Tegan comes up with the rebound. Tegan's pushing it now. Hits Ange once again. Ange has to go up and under again, but he gets, misses the layup. Crosby went for the rebound but ended up picking up a foul. Number five for the Bengals, Christopher Goldman enters the game for Christopher Crosby. Bengals up 27-24. CCC enters the ball. Bengals still in that 2-3 zone. Swing it to the wing. Picks up his dribble. Almost goes backcourt, but Owen Slant gets the steal. Bengals have a three-on-one fast break. Got hit as he passed it. No call. CCC just pulls it out. Ange picks him up in the backcourt. Ange picks up another foul here. So that'll be five fouls here for the Bengals in the first half, which means CCC will be shooting two for the rest of the quarter. That's two fouls now on Angelo. Number 21, Peoples to the line. Puts up the first free throw, it's good. Amari's entering the game for Angelo. 43 seconds left to go here in the first half of play.
Second free throw here for CCC. Second one's up, and it's good. Amari takes it out. He is Dooney. Dooney's pushing it. 40 seconds left to go here. Christopher with the three. Oh, foot was on the line, called it a two. Pull up midi for Chris. CCC now pushing it. Under 30 seconds left to go here to play. Puts up a three, and it's good by CCC. Amari pushing the break now. Amari going full steam ahead. Puts up a layup, misses it. Wants a foul call, doesn't get it. 15 seconds left to go here in the first half. Number two puts up a wild three, but he misses. Rebounded by number two, misses the layup. Tegan with the board, Eight sec six seconds left to go here. Dooney between the legs, three seconds, two seconds. Dooney puts up a floor floater, it's off. And that'll be the end of your first half with a score of Bengals 29, Central Catholic 29.
Here's the second half now of CCC and your Benedict and Bengals. Bengals still in that 2 3. Number one driving baseline. Tries to hit number two, but it goes right through his hands. Turnover for CCC. Antoine bringing the ball up now. Dribble hand off to Dooney. Dooney's driving with his left. He gets tied up. Kicks his dribble. Got smacked in the mouth. No call. Antoine, four to three, off the back rim. Tegan with the rebound, puts it up. Misses loader. Foul Amari was before the shot. Amari was fouled before the shot, so no free throws here. Call it on the ground. Bengals will get it out of bounds under the basket. Quick substitution here for CCC. Number 32 enters the game as 23. Antonio Jackson exits the game for CCC. Tegan to take it out now for the Bengals. Gets it to Antoine in the corner. Gives it to Angelo. Tegan in the corner. 4-3. Off the back rim. Amari gets a rebound. Puts it up and it's good. Amari with the offensive rebound. Putting it back up. Now the Bengals retake the lead here early in the third quarter. CCC drives right. Turnover. Tegan pushing it. Uh, throws it away. Tries to get Dooney there. Throws it away to CCC. And now it'll be CCC's ball out of bounds. CCC enters the ball. Coming across half court. Bengals still in that 2 3. Swing it to the wing. Dooney with a steal. Now Antoine pushing it, coming up the right side. Tries to hit Amari on the cut, turns it over. Now CCC pushing it. Antoine fouls him. Blocking foul on the shot. Missed the layup, so CCC will be getting two free throws here. Here's the first one. Short off the front rim for Sirius Jones. Second one for Jones. It's up and it's short again. Rebounded though by CCC. Puts it up and it's good. Tie game now. Antoine pushing up. Hits Angelo in the corner. Angelo pump fakes, driving. Hits Amari and Amari's fouled. Go in the air, dumps it off to Amari in the dunker spot. Now Amari will be shooting two from the line. Amari here with the first shot. Puts it up, and it's good. Second shot here for Amari. It's up, and it's good again. It goes two for two from the line. CCC pushing it. Hits it the wing, back up top. He's driving, hits it to the corner. Puts up a three, off the front of the rim. Amari with the rebound, pushes it, pushing it up for it. Goes up around the defender, misses the layup. Now CCC pushing it, puts it up. His only backboard there. Gets an offensive rebound. Puts it back up. Oh! Dooney makes a man fall as Ant in the corner. Ant misses it off the back rim. Dooney with a nice move there on the left side. It's still Bengals ball under center. Or, excuse me, under the basket. Ball was tipped. Still CCC ball, or still Bengals ball, excuse me. Amari to inbound it from the corner. 
Tries to get to Angelo. It's tipped. Now tries to now inbounding it from side from the side. Bengals get it in this time to Antoine. Dooney with the ball on the right side. Dooney pulls up from three, misses it. Rebounded by CCC. CCC pushing it. They got numbers here. Puts up a right hand layup, misses it. It's going to be an offensive interference. Oh. A player grabbed the net as the shot was in the air. Refs are discussing whether the foul came first or the offensive interference. call it the foul before the offensive interference with three Dooney with the foul. Makes up there on who was getting the free throw. Number 32 now for the line, Aiden Hall. First one's up and rattles in the rim to give CCC the lead. Trey and Pat Lewin enter the game as Amari and Ange exit the game. Second shot's up and it's good. Trey gets dirty, Dooney's pushing it up. It's Trey up top. Trey's dribbling, picks up his dribble, gets Antoine. Antoine dumps it off to Pat Lloyd. Pat Lloyd finishes it on the left side. Tie game once again here. Stolen by Antoine. Tip, he got it back. CCC got it back. CCC just staying up top, dribbling. Drives, kicks it to the corner. Three is up. Off, goes outside the rim. Tipped out of bounds by CCC, so it'll be Bengals ball. Trey to, try to inbound the ball, hits Antoine. Bengals need some offense here. Antoine on his, by himself on the right, puts up a mid-range that was blocked, got this own rebound, goes up for the layup, and gets fouled. So Antoine will be going up for two shots at the line. Fouls on number 32 of CCC, Aiden Hall. First shot's up, rattles out of the rim. Number 21 and number 20 enter the game for Central Catholic here. Excuse me, the previous foul was on number five for Central Catholic. Raymond Rose now with his third foul of the game. Second shot's up for Tuan, and he misses it. Rebounded by Central Catholic. Central Catholic pushing it up the left side. Hits 21 on the wing, 21 crossover. Pull up mid-range, short. CCC gets the offensive rebound. Foul, though, on Patrick Lloyd. Blocking foul. So, Central Catholic's ball under the rim. That's Patrick Lloyd's second foul now here on the day. Central Catholic inbounds it and puts up a left-handed layup. Scores it. Puts Central Catholic up two points now. 3.30 left to go here in the third quarter. Trey calling an ISO here. Goes up on the right side with the left. And one! Right side finish. Trey Vaughn finish on the right side. And one through the contact. Now the Bengals have a chance to take the lead over once again. Trey here with two free throws. Or excuse me, one free throw. 
First free throws up. And this is Central Catholic with the rebound. Central Catholic pushing it. Coming up the middle. Finds a man on the wing. Puts up a three. Back rim. Tegan with the board. Tegan hits Trey. Bengals got to push it. Trey pushing it up. Slows it down. Hits Tegan on a cut. Tegan gets foul on the layup. Good find, good cut. Good basketball here by the Bengals in the third quarter. Tegan out with two shots at the line. Here comes Tegan's first shot. It's up and it is good. Puts the Bengals back out in front here, up by one point. Substitution here for Central Catholic. Number three enters the game. Leck enters the game as Jones exits the game here. Here comes Tegan's second free throw from the line. He puts it up and it's good. Now Bengals up two here. Three minutes left to go in the third quarter. Bengals still dropping to that two, three. CCC driving left. He loses the ball out of bounds, but they call it still Central Catholic ball. They say it was hit out of bounds by Pat Lloyd. Central Catholic to inbound it underneath their own basket now. Central Catholic throws it over top. Antoine with the steal. He's pushing it. He pulls it out. One on four. Dooney steps into a three, and it's good! Gavin Lasser with the three, puts the Bengals up five, their largest lead of the game. Cross-court cast for CCC, puts up a three, misses it, rebounded by CCC. It's number three, foul on the layup. Fouls on number 15, Trayvon Stewart. So it'll be two shots here for Black from the line. 2.30 left to go in the third quarter. First shot here. It's up and it's good. Amari enters the game and Antoine enters the game as Antoine exits the game. Pat Lloyd enters, exits the game as well. Second free throw here for Black. Puts it up, and it's off the front rim. Rolls out Trey with the rebound. He's pushing it up for the Bengals. Goes up for a layup, air balls it. Amari with the rebound, gets fouled, and will be shooting two shots at the free throw line. That's now five fouls for Central Catholic just in the third quarter. So the Bengals will be shooting two shots from now on throughout the third quarter. Amari here with the first free throw. Puts it up, and it's good. Amari with the second free throw, puts it up. Misses it, Trey with the rebound. Oh, Trey lost it. Bengals up five now. Swings it to the corner, now up top. Swings it back to the same way. Puts up a three, and it's good. Deron Middlebacks for CCC, hits the three. Trayvon with the ball up top for the Bengals. Amari's wide open, down low, puts up a layup, and it's good. Owen Slim coming to the scorer's table. Bengals up four. Got it on the wing. Antoine picks him up. Back, same guy in the corner. Driving baseline, foul on Tegan. Tegan arguing he wrapped around. Then he wrapped around him.
Here's the first shot here for Central Catholic. First one's up, and it's short. Checking into the game, Antoine Livingston, Hayden, and Owen Slim as Tegan, Amari, and Trey all exit the game here. Second shot here. Rolls out. Antoine with the rebound. He's pushing it up now. He's driving right as a lane. Puts up a layup. No foul call. Now, see, he has a fast break. And it's rejected. Sent off the glass by Antoine Walker. Timeout, Central Catholic. Minute 30 left to go here in the third quarter. Bengals searching for their first win of this season. Up four with a minute 30 left to go in the third quarter. Two timeouts remaining for Central Catholic here. Central Catholic's ball out of bounds. Central Catholic gets it in, goes up the left hand layup, misses it. Saved, oh, out of bounds. Still Central Catholic's ball underneath their own basket. Central Catholic gets it in, stolen now by Hayden. Hayden going, pushing it up. Owen with the ball now. Owen's pushing up the right side, slows it down, gives it to Antoine. Hayden back in the corner, gets double team. Now throws a turnover. CCC's ball now. CCC has numbers. Four on three fast break. Stolen by Owen Slam. Dooney with the lane. Dooney with the side step. Puts it up and it's good. Dooney with the Euro step. Now the Bengals are up six with under a minute left to go in the third quarter. CCC swinging it. Finds a man on the wing. Puts up a three. Rolls out of the rim. Antoine with the rebound. Bengals pushing it. Antoine gets ripped at half court. CCC gets the ball, fakes the pass, goes up with the layup, goes up again, and it's good. Dooney takes it out, Antoine pushing it up now. 25 seconds left to go here. Bengals trying to go for the last shot here of the quarter. 18, 17, Antoine with the reverse layup, misses it. 12 seconds now here for Central Catholic. Antoine picks him up. Now CC has a wide open lane to the rim, puts it up and it's good. Two seconds, one second, that's the end here of the first quarter. Two point game going in to the final quarter of play. Bengals still with all four timeouts remaining here with Central Catholic only with two.
It'll be Bengals ball coming out here starting the fourth quarter. Austin enters the game now. Austin pushing up, calls for a screen from Lamar, gives it to Antoine. Austin in the corner, pump fakes, goes up with the right, and it's good! Four point game now for the Bengals. Austin with the hop set, finishes with the right. Bengals still remain in the 2 3 zone. Number three pulls up from deep, hits it off the backboard. Austin with the rebound, slows it down. Bengals pushing it. Austin with the pull up mid range, back rim, rebounded by Amari, tipped out of bounds by Amari. But there's saying still Bengals ball. Amari with the ball gets ribbed. Number three pushing. Central Catholic has numbers. Trayvon goes for the block. Right handed layup for number three of Central Catholic. Black. Austin now pushing it up. Bengals up two. Dribble handoff to Antoine on the wing. Antoine hits Trey. Trey's looking at his defender, deciding what to do with it. Drives right, goes up with the right, and it's good. We caught foul before. Foul before the shot, so they're going to say it's on the ground. So no free throws here for Trey. Antoine enter the ball. It hits Austin in the corner. Austin hits Antoine on the wing. Antoine crosses left. Crosses, gives it back to Austin. Austin jab right tween. Euro. And one! And one, Austin Cadell. Bengals up four now, 5.45 left to go in the fourth quarter of play. Austin with the free throw after the and one. Puts it up, and it's good, rattles around the rim. Central Catholic now pushing it. Central Catholic comes around. Finds a man on the wing, dribbles, looking for someone to pass to. Gives it to 23 in the post. Trey goes and just takes the ball from him, and he gets fouled after getting the steal. Central Catholic coach arguing that it was a travel before the foul. Officials sticking with the call. Foul on Central Catholic. Central Catholic has already picked up three fouls here in, in the fourth quarter. Antoine crosses left, hits Amari in the corner. Amari puts up a wild three, air balls it. Antoine gets the offensive rebound. Has it to Antoine up top. Trey sets the screen for Tuan. Austin, pump face, pull up mid range on the right side, back rim, rebounded by Central Catholic. Central Catholic pushing it. Finds a gap, hits a man in the corner, puts it up short. Austin with the rebound. Austin. Double team in the backcourt behind the back gets ripped, but he's also held after he gets ripped. <laughs> Trayvon to enter it into Austin. 444 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Bengals going with a motion offense. Austin gets ripped, but he gets it back. Official called a kickball before Austin got ripped and they got tied up. So it'll be Bengals ball still. Austin inbounding into Dooney. Dooney pushing it up now. Bengals just 
trying to waste as much time as possible. Just holding the ball. Bengals don't have to put a shot up. Dooney gives it up to Austin on the right wing. Austin Cross got a lane, gets, loses the ball though. Tipped out of bounds by number three of Central Catholic. Austin to take it out. Hits Amari in the corner. Amari hits Dooney up top. Dooney turnover by the Bengals. Tried to hit Antoine there. Central Catholic now with the ball. Under four minutes left to go. Bengals still in the 2-3. It's a man on the wing. Puts it up short. Rebounded by CCC. But Amari gets it. Goes through his legs, though. And it's still Central Catholic ball. Under their own rim, they'll be inbounding it. Hits the guy on the wing. He's driving. Puts it up. And it's good. Cuts the Bengals lead to just three now. Cross right, also gets ripped again. He's getting double teamed now in the corner. Coach Lozer got the timeout he was asking for before Austin got ripped. So it'll be white ball coming out, 324 left to go here. Bengals with still zero fouls here in the first half, in the fourth quarter. So Central Catholic takes the lead somehow. The Bengals will have four fouls to give. Timeouts remaining with Central Catholic, two timeouts remaining. Austin to take it out on the side out. Bengals had six on the court. Austin with the three, off the back rim. Antoine with the rebound. Gives it back to Austin, who feeds it to Pat Lloyd in the paint, and it's good. And he crossed the line, so it's back to Bengals' ball. Bengals got the ball back. Bengals up five, 3.13 left. Amari to take it out. CCC coach wants an explanation for this. Five fouls now on CCC. So the Bengals will be shooting two free throws every foul the rest of the way. 
technical foul on Central Catholic's head coach. Bengals get two free throws from the foul and an additional free throw from the technical and they get the ball back. Antoine here to shoot the free throws for the foul. First free throw up and it's good. Makes the Bengals lead now six. Second one up, off the back rim. Now Dooney in to shoot. Dooney in now to shoot the technical free throw. First free throw up and it goes in. It's two free throws for the technical. So Dooney's second shot at the free throw. Puts it up, and it's good. Bengals lead is now eight, their largest lead of the game. And it's still Bengals ball. Central Catholic coach asks for a timeout, he gets it. At least with one timeout remaining here in the game. It'll be Bengals ball coming out of the timeout. looking for their first win of the year. Under three minutes left to go. And they are still in control of this game. Up eight with under three minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. to let it in. Dooney goes back core, almost stolen, but Dooney controls it. And gives it to Austin. Austin's holding it up top on the wing now. Mari sets in the screen. Bengals not looking to shoot a shot anytime soon. Ball's tip, goes into the back court. Central Catholic saves it, but Dooney gets it back. And he throws a turnover now to Central Catholic. Central Catholic has a man in the corner. Pump fake, sidestep, and it's good! Bengals lead, cut to five now after the three-pointer. Austin makes a man miss, he's going. Dumps it off to Pat Lloyd, but it's stolen by Central Catholic, and foul now on Amari of Benny. That's the Bengals' first foul of the fourth quarter. Swan enters the game for Austin. Three black coat bringing it up for Central Catholic. Bengals still in the 2 3 zone. Shot in the corner, misses it. Rebounded by CCC. Puts it up and no foul call. Bengals lead cut to just three now with under two minutes left to go here in the game. Antoine with the ball, he passes it to Twan. Hits Dooney in the corner. Dooney puts up a three, and it's good! Bengals up six now, under two minutes to go, and the Bengals got the ball back. Tegan entering the game for Antoine. Bengals up six, 143 left to go here in the game. Enters to Dooney in the backcourt. Twan gets it on the wing. Bengals trying to take as much time off the clock as possible. Dumps it off to Pat Lloyd who goes up and gets fouled. Central Catholic player spikes the ball. No, no technical there on the play. Pat Lloyd to the line now.
Pat Lloyd with the first free throw. Puts it up. It's good. <laughs> Bengals lead now to seven. Bengal Lloyd with the second free throw. Puts it up. Off the back rim. Rebounded by Central Catholic. Central Catholic pushing it now. This man in the corner, but he drops it. Amari falls on the ball and hits Dooney. Twan pushing it. Hits Tegan. Tegan goes up, gets blocked. Twan goes to take a charge. No call. Blocking foul and one foul on Twan Livingston. And one. Now the lead cut to five with the free throw here by number one, Sirius Jones. Puts up the free throw, air balls in, hits only backboard. So there'll be no rebound. Tegan to take it out for the Bengals. Pat Lloyd exits the game as Austin comes back in. They enter to Austin. Bengals up five. Austin gets it across half court, hits Twan in the corner. Twan's driving, hits Dooney. Dooney pump fakes. Under one minute now left to go. Austin has it up top near half court. Dooney has it now. Gives it up to Austin. 50 seconds now. Bengals up five. Swing the legs. Austin hits Tegan in the corner. Tegan puts up a three off the back rim. Central Catholic with the rebound. Central Catholic with a fast break. Misses the layup. Bengals get the rebound. Under 30 seconds now left to play here. Dooney with the ball. Tegan has it. And the, bank, and the Central Catholic intentionally fouls. <laughs> Bengals looking like they're going to get their first win of the season at home against Cleveland Central Catholic. Central Catholic calls timeout. Bengals 61, Central Catholic 56. Twenty-one seconds left to go here in the game. That was Central Catholic's last timeout of the game. So if they foul the Bengals, the Bengals will be shooting two free throws. Hello, 
Teagan to inbound the ball now. seconds in the game now. Amari gets the inbound, and they foul Amari in the backcourt. Amari will be shooting two now. Eight point two seconds left to go. Bengals are down, up three. Amari to the line. Two shots. First one's up, and it's good. Makes it now a two-possession game. Central Catholic with no timeouts remaining. Mari with the second one. It's good. Central Catholic gets it across half court. Puts up a three. Hits it. Three seconds, two seconds, and that's ball game. The freshman Bengals have won their first game of the season with the final score of Cleveland Central Catholic 62, your Bengals 64. Congrats to the Bengals on their first win of the season. Hopefully to stack on many more throughout this their freshman season. And now here come the JV Bengals. the tunnel. Let's hope JV can carry on some of the energy from the freshmen and go out and beat Central Catholic.
How's it going, everybody? Patrick Lloyd joining you now for the JV basketball game. Benedictine and Cleveland Central Catholic coming off a very exciting freshman game, their first win of the season. Some of you may not know, I play freshman basketball, so that was pretty exciting. Ready to get JV basketball underway from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. The Bengals taking on the Cleveland Central Catholic Iron. Tyrell O'Neill. Tips and it's won by Cleveland Central Catholic. They fire an early three, it's missed. Rebounded by Jonathan Spikes. Now it's Kamari Carter, number 10, in the backcourt, looking through into the forecourt to Eli Ellis. Ellis back to the middle, shorter, over to Carter, down low to tight, or excuse me, O'Neal, who puts it up and in. The Bengals take an early two, nothing, lead. Here comes CCC on the far side, back to the middle. Number 12, hands off to number one. Number one on the left wing, driving through the lane, putting it up and missed. Rebound goes to Jonathan Spikes. Here he goes the other way, shorter. Thought about a shot, now he'll go back to Ellis. Back to shorter, drives baseline, down low to O'Neal. Missed the layup, rebound, it's gonna roll out of bounds. Bengals ball. As you may know, the Browns are in action as we speak, so we'll be doing our best to give you Browns updates as much as we can. We have a little bit of a, the ball got wet, so that's the issue there. Here we go, Ellis will inbound. Gives it into Kamari Carter. Carter on the far side. He's gonna drive. He goes down low to O'Neal, who puts it up and in the Bengals. Take a two, nothing lead. Here comes CCC the other way, laying it up and in, and it's two, two. Shorter. Out of bounds, whoa. It's gonna be Bengals ball. Thank you so much for joining us here this evening. Bengals basketball from the field house as Kam Kamari Carter takes it on the uh, left wing on the near side. Carter will go back towards the middle. Nice pass down low to Spikes, who goes to O'Neal, who lost the ball. Here comes CCC the other way. Number zero on the far side. Now in the corner. Here comes CCC. They're going to be able to put it back up and in and off the miss. And it's 4 4. Kamari Carter goes over to Eli Ellis. Ellis on the right side. Looking for somewhere to go, he throws it off the CCC player, but it's gonna be Ironman ball. I was wondering why. Ironman in the backcourt, looking to go into the forecourt. Guarded by Kamari Carter. He's gonna kick to the corner. CCC clearly taking their time here early on. Now he's gonna drive, kick to the corner. Thought about a shot, now he'll kick out to the wing. He drives, floats, and missed. Rebound goes to Giovanni Ramos. Diving on the floor, picks up the ball. It's gonna be a jump ball. What an exciting way to start off the night with the freshmen, their first win of the season. And that's great for us as Carter takes it in. Go 
Battle across the half court line, now on the far side, the right side. Lost the ball, out of bounds. We'll stay with the Bengals. Ellis out to Kamari Carter, Carter on the right wing. Floats it down low to Spikes, Spikes trying to put it up. He's gonna kick back out to Carter for three. Oh, bounces off the rim twice. Ramos gets the rebound and puts it up and in. Here comes CCC. They're gonna drive all the way to the bucket, miss it, put back, and we have a foul on the play. Ironman will shoot too. First shot is no good. O'Neal will re enter for the Bengals. Spikes have exits. Second free throws up. Missed it. Rebound goes to Kamari Carter. Carter on the right side. Driving through. Trying to make a move. He's spin move, drives through, stops. Goes back to Shorter. Shorter to Ellis. Ellis tried to go down with O'Neal and had it tipped away. Luke Carlton checks in. Carlton's gonna handle the inbound here. Carter on the right wing, try to go to O'Neal, off the ball. Here comes CCC the other way. Put up and it's blocked by Kamari Carter. Stepped on the line, but a nice rejection there. Set to inbound. They get it in. Up top. Got another shot now. He'll drive through. Floating it up. Foul on the play. And CCC is going to go back to the free throw line. Second free throw on the way. And he hits them both. Kamari Carter. Moving. Across midcourt into the forecourt. Carter driving down with Ramos. And he gets fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Gio Ramos. First free throw is good. Second one's up and no good. Rebounded by O'Neal and he puts it up and in. CCC the other way. On the left wing. Shot is up. Missed it. Rebound goes to Kamari Carter. Carter to Spikes. Back to Carter. Spikes. 
on the far side. It's going to go out of bounds off the Iron Man. Spikes inbounds to Carter. Carter back to Spikes. Spikes drives. Lost the ball out of bounds. Bengals ball. Puts it in. Carlton for three. Missed it. O'Neal rebound. Pushed off. That's going to go the other way. CCC to inbound. They get it in. Here they go. Driving towards the middle all the way through. Kamari Carter stolen away. Carlton in, tra in transition. Unable to put it in. Oh. Looked like there should be a call there. There wasn't. Step back. Thought about a three. Now home drive and kick to the other corner. Three on the way. Missed. Put back up and in. All 9-9 uh, nine, nine the score. Bengals lead by one. Carter on the right wing. Kicks to Carlton in the corner for three. Missed it. Rebound by Ramos, who puts it up and in. Gio Ramos now has four. Here comes CCC. Number zero has time. He'll go back the other way. Three on the way. Missed. Rebounded by Gio. On the floor. It's going to be picked up by CCC. And looked like they were going to get an easy bucket, but they can't catch the ball. Three now on the way. Missed. And it looked like there was a travel there. And there is. And there's ball. Spikes to inbound, he gets it into Carter. Kamari Carter on the baseline, makes a move. Now back the other way. Carter all the way, coast to coast, down to O'Neal, who lays it up and in. Bengals lead 13-8. Up top, now to the left wing. Back up top. Now number three goes up to number 12 for three. Missed it again. We haven't seen a three all night. And Joku gets the rebound. Gets to Carlton. And Carlton with some space. Now he'll retreat back. Try to go back to Carter. He'll be successful that time. And the Bengals throwing the ball around. It's going to stay with the Bengals. inbound. Gets it all the way into Ellis. Ellis tipped it up in the air. He's going to be able to get it back. Nope. O'Neal trying to handle it. Ball's all over the place and it's going to go out, out of bounds. It's going to be Bengals ball once again. Carter to inbound. He's going to get it into Ellis. Ellis fires a deep three off the back of the rim. That's going to be the end of the first quarter from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Your score, Bengals 13, Cleveland Central Catholic 8. I want to give a shout out to Bengals, uh, Bengals athletic assistant Shane Hopkins, class of 25. He's given us the Browns updates on the screen in between game play right now.
The Texans have scored. It's 3-0. Browns are coming out on offense now. Led by quarterback Joe Flacco in the first round of the NFL playoffs. First and ten, it's Flacco in the backfield with, I believe it's Ford to his uh, left. It's kind of hard to see, yeah, it is Ford. Flacco's going to throw. He has a receiver. David Njoku with a big pickup, and the Browns are threatening now. Great throw by Joe Flacco, and a great start to the drive. Ready for the second quarter of action from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. CCC will inbound, and I'll start with the ball. Number one on the far side. Dribbling it through, kicks. Now the other way. Thought about a shot, now he'll drive in. Jumper. Fouled on the play. He's going to go to the line and shoot two. Flacco's rolling out on a second and two, and he finds Amari Cooper for a Browns first down. It's first and goal. Browns threatening now to take the lead. Second free throw's off. Rebound goes to CCC, who puts it up and in. It's 13-11. Ellis lost the ball. Dives on the floor, ball rolling around. It's gonna go to CCC, they're gonna fire a three. Off again. Rebound, they almost try to get in there. We have a jump ball, Bengals ball. Carter. Driving through, stops up. On the right side, he's going to drive through, put it up, and he gets fouled. Kamari Carter's going to go to the line. First free throw is off. and goal for the Browns. Flacco's going to go out in a receiver position. This is an interesting play. Let's see if it works. Hunt's going to run, and it'll be second and goal now at the three-yard line. Kamari Carter's second free throw is off again. Rebound goes to CCC. Across the middle. Looking for something. Now he's going to drive back. Goes to number five on the left wing. Thought about a shot. Now he'll drive. Spin move. Step back. Loader is off. Rebound goes to Jonathan Spikes. He gets fouled. Harrison Bryant with a two yard pick up the Browns. Now have a third and goal on the one yard line. Kamari Carter will take it in. Lost the ball, goes back the other way. CCC in transition to the bucket, rolls off. Rebound goes to Njoku, gets it over to Jonathan Spikes. Spikes taking the ball on, you don't normally see that. Goes to Ramos, Ramos all the way through to the bucket, miss. Browns are gonna run it up the middle with Kareem Hunt, touchdown. 
And you can see the reaction of the people in Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. The Browns have taken the lead. That one, put up, miss. Kareem Hunt gets in the Browns, take a 6-3 lead in Houston. Joe Flacco with a handoff. Hunt went right up the middle. It was not a hard play at all, but the Browns, the Browns have taken a 6-3 lead. Unfortunately, Dustin Hopkins, the kicker, out for this game, so uh, I believe his name's Bailey Patterson, the backup, will come in to kick the PAT. Kamari Carter. The PAT is good, and the Browns have taken a 7 nothing lead as Carter gets fouled or go to the line. Kamari Carter has played a crucial role for this JV team so far this year. First free throw is good. Second free throw on the way from Carter. He gets them both. 15-11, Bengals lead in our JV game. Bengals looking for a organization-wide uh, sweep this evening. Number three on the far side goes back to number 15 up top. Apology for the lack of uh, us not knowing, or excuse me, the lack of us knowing CCC's uh, player roster. We were unable to find anything online and we never heard anything back from them. We have their varsity roster, but that is all. Carter to Ellis. Ellis drives to Njoku, has a lane, puts it up and in with Chen Njoku. Here comes number three across the Bengal logo. Fires a three. That's good. And that's a huge shot for CCC to put him back in at 17-16. Austin Cato and Christian Shorter checking in at the scores table as Carter trying to make a move, get around the two guys on him. He's going to float it up, it's missed. Rebound goes to CCC. Here they go in transition. Spinning around, putting it up, missed. Rebound goes to CCC, putting it up again, and he's fouled. Number 15 at the line. It's Michael Warner is the word that we've heard as the first one is off. Our statistician here has the rosters, but I do not, unfortunately. But we'll try. We'll try our best. Dolphins and Chiefs play later tonight. The forecast for that game is not looking very good, so good luck to them over there in Kansas City. The Dolphins do not do good in cold weather, so we'll have to see what happens there as the second free throw is good. We're all tied up at 17. Cato takes it in now. Cato into the forecourt. Almost lost the ball. He's going to go to Carter. Carter down low to Ramos. Ramos puts it up and in, Gio Ramos, nice play. Here he comes, now back up. Walking it around to CCC. Thought about a shot, now they kick out, back to the corner. Up top on the Bengal logo. Shot on the way, airballed it. It might have been deflected. A big play here for the Texans. They're gonna get down to the 45 in opposing territory for a first down. A big run. But both of these teams with solid offenses, but the Browns have the best defense in the league, and I believe that's what's gonna help propel them today. CCC their way, 
Thought about a shot, now he'll go back. Up top. On the wing. Thought about a shot again, now he'll drive through, puts it up, and scores. We're tied once again, 19-19. Another big play, John Mechie this time. Texans moving the ball well on their next drive as Bang or CCC gets it the other way, Florida scores. The Ironmen have taken the lead for the first time in our JV matchup this tonight, and the Bengals throw the ball back away. There they go in transition on the right wing. Three on the way. Missed it. Rebound goes to Kamari Carter. Bengals now in transition. Ramos has Njoku. Ramos will take it himself. Missed it. Corner. Three on the way. Missed. Both teams have been uh, very inconsistent from beyond the arc so far. We have a whistle. Timeout. Meanwhile, the Texans are into the end zone. They'll take a 9-7 lead PAT coming. Collins is running the ball well so far for Houston. personal opinion don't love the way that the NFL playoffs work uh, with us having a better record the Texans still have the home field advantage because they won their division the Browns play in the best division in the in the NFL and then as uh, PA announcer inside the arena giving us the score update 10-7 we'll get back on the way Kato Walma. Carter moving the ball nicely. Gets fouled. shoot two bonus free throws now. First free throw is good. 21-20. Second free throw now to tie. Thanks so, so much for joining us for our Benedictine basketball triple header. Started off with a freshman win. We're looking for the, much of the same with JV and then varsity right after this. Don't go anywhere. Remember, we'll keep giving you the Browns updates. I know it's inconvenient timing, but we're doing our best. Number five on the left wing goes to number 15 up top. we will go back to number five. Number five trying to make a move. Now he'll drive. Spin move, looking for something. He's going to go back to number five. Number five is going to go out to number 25. Now it's up top, number three. Good defense by the Bengals now. An open three is missed. Hit the top. It's going to go back to CCC. 55 on the clock here in the second quarter. Another injured Texans player. We've seen that a lot. 11 seconds to go in the first in Houston. We have 51 seconds to go here in the second in Truman Memorial Fieldhouse for tonight's Benedictine basketball triple header against the Cleveland Central Catholic Ironmen. All tied up so far. Thank you. 
BCC will inbound off the timeout. Number 15 up top. Swing it back. Now number 25 on the right wing drives. Kicks to the corner. Three on the way. In and out. Rebound goes to Austin Cato. Foul on the play. Bengals ball. 31.3 to go. And a big play for Harrison Bryant. Down inside the 30 to the 25. A big first play for the Browns to end the first quarter. Harrison Bryant in at tight end in the Browns. With a huge way to start off that drive. Joe Flacco slinging it. Harrison Bryant finding nothing but grass in front of him as Austin Cadles at the line. First one is good. 22-21, Bengals now have the lead. Cato's second free throw coming. He hits them both. 23-21, Bengals lead. 31-30 to go here in the first half of action of JV basketball from the field house. Now number zero, kicks in the corner for a three, and he hits. CCC takes a 24-23 lead. 15 to go. Cato up to Ellis. Ellis lost the ball. It's going back the other way. Not the way the Bengals wanted to end the second half, but... They get it in the number three. Number three finding somebody up the floor and now wide open. Eli Ellis comes out of nowhere, I believe. Okay, no foul on the play, it's just out of bounds. Off the Bengals. Eight, six, excuse me, 6.7 left in the first half of action. Number three is going to inbound. He gets it into number zero on the right wing. Five seconds left, drives in, lays it up and in. Two in the clock, one. Shorter gets it in, the buzzer goes off, that's halftime. The Bengals trail at halftime, 26-23, heading into the locker room. A tight first half of action from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. We'll take a short break and be back for the second half of JV basketball and then varsity to follow.
Welcome back to Truman Memorial Fieldhouse for the second half of JV basketball action. It's Cleveland Central Catholic leading the Bengals 26-23 after the first half of action. We had quite the eventful halftime. Two touchdowns scored. But su super fun to see uh, everybody from both sides, both fan bases, joining together to cheer on the Browns here. All right, let's get this second half of action underway. Number zero is gonna inbound to number three. In the backcourt, he'll cross into the forecourt. Now it's number 12 over to number one. On the right way. Number one driving through the lane. Lost the ball. It's going to stay with the Ironmen. Inbound, they're gonna get it in number zero, spin move, puts it up and puts it in. 28-23, Ironman lead. Kamari Carter on the right wing. He's gonna drive, kick to Ellis. Ellis to Shorter up top, lost the ball. Goes back to CCC. Now driving all the way to the bucket, missed the layup, puts it back up and puts it in. 30-23, to Ironman lead, the biggest Lead by any team all night long, I believe. Carter on the floor. Picks it up, it's gonna roll to Ellis. Ellis, a deep three. Missed. CCC the other way. Coast to coast, puts it up and missed it. Rebound goes to CCC again, they lost the ball. We've seen a lot of just the ball rolling all over the place tonight. As Ramos and Njoku will check back in for the Bengals. Spikes is going to inbound to Carter. Kamari Carter goes up to Njoku. Njoku back to Carter. Carter on the near side. Crosses into the forecourt. To Njoku. Njoku back towards the middle. Njoku back to Carter. Carter up top. Carter will drive with his right. Out wide. Now coming back in. Putting it up and putting it in. And the foul. Kamari Carter with the and one. And he'll have the chance for a three-point play. Carter at the line for one. Chance to cut the lead to four. Missed it, rebounded by CCC. Here they go in transition. A deep three. Barely hit the rim. Rebound goes to Jonathan Spikes. Now it's Carter who will bring the ball forward for the Bengals. Carter on the far side. Goes to Spikes. Spikes down low. Rolling and it's going to be Ironman ball. The bad passes for the Bengals have been killing them here so far. Uh, and that end of the first half into the second half. Number zero is going to inbound to number three. Number three on the right wing goes up to number 11. Number 11 thought about a shot. Lost the ball. Spikes dies on the ground, goes to Ramos. Ramos with some space, goes to Njoku. Njoku now caught. He'll go all the way back out to Carter. Carter's going to drive all the way through the lane with his left, puts it up, missed. Rebound goes to CCC. Here they go the other way. In the corner, three on the way. He hits. And the Bengals, I believe. It's for injured player, Kamari Carter is in pain. He'll come out of the game, I believe. Yep. 
Cato checks in for the Bengals. Kamari Carter. It looks like he's holding his back. So we'll have to see. Devon Aaron, the athletic trainer, will go over to check him out. Cato on the far side, lost his dribble, and it's going back the other way. The turnovers for the Bengals have been killing them as of uh, late here. Inbounds, number three on the far side. Lost the ball, it's gonna stay with the iron man. some space. Taking his time with the ball, and I was gonna dribble number 12. Short jumper, airballed it. Rebound's gonna go. Wamos in there, he gets fouled, I believe, by number, number one of the Ironman. That's his third. Number 12 of the Ironman also has three. They are racking up the fouls. They already got two here in the third quarter. Remember, new rules in OHSA this, this year. It's five fouls for the bonus. No more one and one. It's two shots and then the fouls reset every quarter. Driving, firing, a jumper, missed, rebound. Gonna go to CCC. <laughs> Still inbound. Spike's looking to check in. He's going to. Bounce to number zero. In the corner, drives baseline, pushes off in Joku. That's going the other way. Still a decent crowd here tonight, uh, putting it in perspective. Now they're just got the foot of a pass. Carter gets it, now he'll drive. Goes through down low to O'Neal, puts it up, he gets fouled. So Revel O'Neal's gonna go to the line. Browns gave the ball up on their drive. So now the Texans are on offense. Slow start to their drive. They've got about a third and 12 now. Hopefully the Browns are gonna get this three and out as Carter, or excuse me, O'Neal misses his first free throw. Second free throw is good. Substitution. Yamil Rielo will enter for Benedictine. CCC across the Bengal logo. Number three. Up top. Waiting. Now it's going to go to number five on the far side of the right wing. Back to number three. Number three. Driving through the lane, putting it up, and it's missed. We have a blocking foul on the Bengals. Two shots on the way now. Fouls on Kamari Carter. That's his first. Browns 
forced a big three and out. The Texans are now punting it back to Cleveland. They lead 17-14. Number three at the line, shooting two. First one is good. 34-26. Bengals have had some trouble here thus far. Second one is up and is good. 35-26. Nine point lead for the Ironman. Carter. Spikes, drives, puts it up, missed it, Go, goes to Ramos, falls down. If this is a foul on CCC, the Bengals are going to go on the bonus here and they'll shoot two. That's exactly what's going to happen. It's a foul on number 15 of CCC. Benedict is on the bonus and Giovanni Ramos will go to the line to shoot two shots. This first one is good. Band filing in here, the Benedict and Beaumont marching band as the second free throws off. Spikes grabs the board, getting it out to Njoku. Njoku up top to Kamari Carter. Carter waiting for something to happen. Almost lost the ball, gets it to Ramos. Ramos to Njoku, lost the ball. Now here goes CCC in transition all the way to the basket. It's blocked. Gio Ramos. Wow. Here goes number three to number 11. 11 tries. Whistle. It's going the other way. A charge. Kamari Carter forces the charge on the play. Carlton and Shorter checking back in for the Bengals. 2.08 left to go in this third quarter of action. Carlton gets it into Carter. Back to Carlton. He'll bring it forward. Gets stopped. Back to Carter now. Carter into the forecourt. Drives all the way to the bucket. Puts it up and puts it in. And a foul. Kamari Carter. With a chance for a three-point play. This would be huge for the Bengals. Carter's one free throw is good. A huge three-point play for Benedict, and they've had trouble finding success from beyond the arc so far, but a three-point play gets them within five. Here comes CCC, number five, fires a three. Air pulled it, rebounded by Ramos. Ray low. Overhead pass to Carter. And Carter up to Christian Shorter. Shorter dribbles. Down low now to Ramos. Lost the ball. It's going to stay with the Bengals. Carter to inbound. Bengals trail by 5 1. 36 left here in the third quarter of action. JV basketball. Carter, waiting, waiting, gets it in. Shorter to Carlton, Carlton on the Bengal logo. Goes to Shorter, Shorter driving, looking for something, lost the ball. It flies out of bounds, that's off the Ironman, Bengals ball. Ramos, who puts it up and in, and the Bengals are within three. 32-35. Number zero gets it into number 25. Back to zero. Zero into the forecourt. Zero drives, floats. Missed off the front. Rebound to Ray Elo. We'll go to Carter. Carter, fast pace. Bengals in transition. Carter fires a three. Off. Rebound goes to number zero. 59 left to go in this third quarter of action. Bengals looking to get back. 
into this close competitive game. Carlton guarding on number three. Now it's shorter on number five. On the far side, Carlton back on number three. Screen set by number 15. Carlton's on the ground. Three on the way, missed. Rebound is going to go to Shorter. 33 on the clock. Shorter drives back towards the middle. Shorter looking to go all the way. Goes down low to Ramos, who puts it up and missed. He had a tough angle, but he gets his own board, puts it up, and he gets fouled. Gio Ramos was looking uh, to get the three point play there. Couldn't get the roll, but he'll have a chance to cut. The Ironman lead down to one. All twos left on the clock. Ramos will shoot two. First one is off. Ramos, second free throw on the way. Missed them both. Christian Shorter with a foul. He does not agree. CCC has 17 and a half to get a shot up. They lead by three. Here they go across half court into the four court whistle and. I believe he had a foul on Luke Carlton of the Bengals. That's his first. The Bengals fourth of the quarter. No bonus yet, but CCC is one away from shooting two. Doesn't matter, there's only 12.9 left on the clock. Number zero to inbound. Gets it in. Number three, another whistle. That's a over and back, back court violation. So the Bengals will have 11.7. To cut this lead. Carlton will inbound. With 11.7 to go. Carlton gets it in to Carter. Kamari Carter trying to work on number three. Carter. When he in, gets it in to, uh, excuse me, Carlton. Carlton driving, putting it up and a travel on the play. A Ironman player is down. Looks like he's going to be all right. 2.1. They're going to look for a heave here. They get it in. Three seconds left. Or, excuse me, number three. Nowhere close. We'll head to the fourth quarter. Bengals trail by three. 35 32. We've got a good one on our hands, folks. Don't go anywhere. Fourth quarter, Bengals 35, or excuse me, Ironman 35, Bengals 32. The JV Bengals led by head coach Terry Williams and assisted by coach Tion Wynn. JV Bengals have had a solid season so far. As Carlton will inbound. He's going to go to uh, Kamari Carter. Carter driving his left, back towards the middle. Spin move. Where is he going with it? He's going to go through. Throw it off of a Ironman foot. It's going to be Bengals ball. 
not urgency at all for the Bengals. They still have six minutes, 49. They're only down three, but gotta be, make better passes. They've been throwing the ball away a lot here. As uh, Carter Wimbaugh goes all the way out to Carlton. Carlton driving on his right. Out to Raylo, who fires the deep three. Almost got it. Ramos is gonna grab a rebound. It's gonna go out of bounds off the Ironman. Staying here. Carter to inbound again, gets it into Ramos. Ramos back to Carter. Carter on the far side, fires a deep three. Off again, the Bengals have yet to hit a three all night. Ironman in, in transition, easy lay in. Shorter gets Ellis. Ellis trapped, lost the ball. It's gonna be out of bounds, Bengals ball. Timeout CCC. That is their second. They still have three remaining. Although timeouts might become crucial here as the game progresses. Browns gave the ball away again. All the Texans with another opportunity to score. The offense needs to do a little bit better here. Throw by five, 6.20 left to go. They're gonna get into Carter all the way in the back corner. Carter driving forward. Carter gets passed, now he has some space, gets it to Rayula, who fires it, eat three. Missed it off the back iron. Ramos tried to put it up, he's gonna get it back, puts it up off. Bengals having trouble getting some rolls. Bengals wanted to travel, they didn't get it. Here comes number three in transition. The other way, driving with his left, back over to number zero. Thought about a three, now he'll drive with his right, through the lane, floating it up, off the back of the rim. Rebound goes to Giovannis, here comes Kamari Carter. Carter, cross half court into the fourth court. Carter, down with a Raylo, ooh, lays it up, oh, he missed it. Now it's number three, driving towards the middle. Wide open jumper, hit it. 39-32. Central is back to a 30, or excuse me, a 39-32 lead, but they're back to a seven point lead. As Ellis has some space, he'll fire a three. He knocks it down, Eli Ellis. Bengals needed that for sure, it's 39-35. Number zero on the far side. Waiting for something, now he's gonna kick down low. Ray low on him. Good defense. And the Bengals get the stop. Now here comes Carter. 39, 35, 40, or excuse me, 4.55 left to go. Carter, nice move. Dribbling around, lost the ball. Here comes CCC the other way, all the way through, laying it up and laying it in. 35-41, Ray Lowe inbounds to Carter. Carter back to Ray Lowe. Eli Ellis. Looking for something, goes to Kamari Carter. Carter, that's a travel.
They've got the Browns game up on the screen here in the uh, field house, and the Texans threatening to score again now in the red zone. Although they just had a penalty against them, it's first and 15. That actually brought them back a lot. That was before the play. They had a good pickup. It's actually first and 18. It's a little tough to see from here. CC leads the Bengals, 427 left to go. Spikes to inbound. Nope, that's actually CCC's ball. Spikes thought he was going to inbound, but the ref said otherwise. CCC the other way. Number 11 will fire a three. Air ball blocked by Spikes. Now number zero drives his left, floats it up with his left, and it does not get the roll. It's out of bounds. It's gonna be CCC ball. Both teams struggling to get a roll here. And many more points were scored in the freshman game, as we can see a fairly low scoring game in this one. Just the shots have not been falling. Number 11 gets it in number five. Thought about a shot, now he'll go back up top. Number zero on the close side, the left wing. Tries to number three, three for a three, and he hits. A big shot for Central Catholic, and now, nice spin move by Carter. The Bengals are starting to become urgent mode as Ramos trying, Bengals trying to do anything, finally shorter is fouled, he'll go to the line. Just cannot get a roll. Shorter's free throw is off. Shorter's second free throw. He misses them both. Spike's able to get it, kicks it out to Carter for three. He knocks it down, big shot for Kamari Carter. The Bengals have got it back within six. Number three on the right wing goes to number 11. Number 11 on the left wing, now it's up to number three. Number five on the right wing. Hands off to number zero. Three, 15 to go. Number five, driving with his left, floating it up. That would have gone out if Ramos left it. He got the ball and then threw it away. So now number 11 has it again for CCC. Jumper from the elbow, and they get the roll finally. 46-38. Carter, and now we have a CCC player down in the backcourt as Ellis fires a three, he missed. Shorter's gonna get the rebound. CCC player grabbing his leg. Not a good situation as Spikes fires a three. Now, he tried to get up number zero and we're gonna have to take a bit of a timeout here. Number zero, clearly in pain. Devon Aaron comes over. It is something with his left leg slash knee area. He's able to get up, but he's in pain. Looks like, is he gonna stay out there? Nope. He'll put a rock off the floor on his own power. And 
the Iron Man are going to inbound here. Texans with another touchdown. Now they lead 24 14. Now, what you love to see from that Browns defense. Now, our athletic director, Mr. John Carter, is going to come out with the floor sweeper and just uh, clean up the area. Now we're ready to go. Getting it in number one. Going backwards. Now he'll try to go back forwards and this number 11 was wide open. He'll try to go down low. He gets number 12 who puts it up and he gets fouled. So CCC wants to go in the line. Forget varsity action right after the JV game. The Bengals and the Ironmen. Free throw is good. High arcing free throw from number 12 as Austin Cato will check in for Kristen Shorter. And the second free throw now to give Central a 10 point lead. If I'm not mistaken, that might be their biggest lead of the night. And they've got it with 2.33 to go. Ellis looking, he finds Carter. Carter to Ellis. Ellis on the left side, goes to Carter. Carter for three. Missed it, rebound goes to Cato. Cato thought about a shot, now he'll go to Ellis. Ellis thought about a shot as well, now he'll go to Spike. Spike thought about a shot, now he'll drive in. Goes down with Ramos who puts it up and gets fouled. Gio Ramos is gonna go to the line and shoot two. Free throw is good. Free throws are going to be crucial now if the Bengals want to make a comeback. Luke Carlton checks in. He's out there with Austin Cadle, Jonathan Spikes, Kamari Carter, and Giovanni Ramos. Ramos' second free throw on the way. Off the front of the rim. It's going to go out of bounds. Who's it off? It's off the Bengals. Intercepted by Luke Carlton. He's going to get over to Cato. Bengals trailing by nine. Cato looking for something. Whistle and a foul on the play. It's going to be on number one of the Ironmen. That's his fourth foul. Ellis checks in for Carlton. Spikes to inbound. Bengals timeout. Coach Terry takes a 30 second timeout. Not sure if you could hear that, but PA announcer Mr. Matt Wilson telling everybody at the end of the first half of action from NRG Stadium in Texas, Houston, it is Bengal, or excuse me, Browns 14. Texans 24. 2.04 left to go. Bengals trailing by nine. Cato Dan Bound. Don't go anywhere shortly after the final buzzer of this JV basketball game. We'll take a very short break before we get prepped and ready to go for varsity basketball from the field house. Carter driving, puts it up with his right and missed it. Bengals having trouble getting the, uh, the rolls. And it is definitely urgent time now with under two minutes to go. 
It's going to roll out of bounds. It's off the Bengals once again. One of the main issues in this game has been the passing, the smart passes. We haven't seen them. We've seen them in previous games, but the smart passing that this JV team is capable of just hasn't been happening. In fact, that's one of the issues that the freshman had as there's a corner three on the way, and he knocks it down. That is not good at all. Now a 51. 39 lead as Spikes puts it in. Now it's 41-51. Number three on the right wing. 111 left to go. Number zero up top. Bengals trail by 10. Wide open three. Almost got the roll. Spikes. Bengals got to go. Down 10. It might. Be tough to come back here. Ramos is gonna go, he's gonna get fouled and go to the line. Carlton and Njoku checking back in. of a number here there. It does say number 12. That was his freshman number. Giovanni Ramos uh, actually wearing 34 for JV. So we'll make that correction. As the first free throw is good. 42-51. Second free throw is off. It goes to CCC. Under a minute to go. Bengals down nine. Stolen away by Ramos. Ramos goes all the way to the basket and lays it up and in. Timeout, Benedictine. Timeout left. Put up in the air, Carlton stole, stolen away, and Joku puts it up and puts it in. Now number zero, Bengals trailing by just five. 
CCC the other way. They're gonna get no. Oh, they put it back up and put it in. None of the Bengals got back. That was the issue. It was just Ramos. Now Spikes is gonna fire a desperation three. It's missed. Ramos tips it. Carlton got the rebound, lost the ball. 13 seconds left to go, and Joker's gonna foul. That's just the Bengals third. So with 11.1 left to go. That is going to do it. The JV Bengals are gonna move to three and seven. They inbound to number zero. And he'll dribble out the clock. So the final score from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse in our JV matchup, it's the Cleveland Central Catholic Ironman, 53, your Benedict and Bengals, 46. Sloppy passes, nothing you know, going the Bengals' way. They had trouble getting the roll, so unfortunately, the Bengals are going to fall to the Ironman here tonight. We'll take a short break from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse, and we'll be back for varsity action right after this break.
Welcome inside Truman Memorial Fieldhouse for tonight's varsity basketball matchup between the Benedictine Bengals and the Cleveland Central Catholic Ironmen. The Bengals come into this one at four and six, the Ironmen at six and five. The Bengals took a loss last night to the Hoban Knights. They're coming into this game looking to turn the momentum around. As for CCC, they've had a solid season so far, beating some pretty decent opponents. Bengals led, of course, by seniors 
Chris Smith, Nehemiah Seals, Emerson White, Mikel Bird, and also, sorry about that, Matt Torres. As for the Bengals, the leaders, Chris Smith leads the Bengals points per game with 12.8, Damone Darwin leads in field goal percentage with 53%. Rebounds per game, Meek Black has 5.9, Chris Smith 2.9, leading the Bengals as far as assists per game is concerned. Chris Smith with 115 points on the season, he blows out the water with that one. Meek Black is in second with only 83. As far as assists are concerned, Chris Smith leads that category as well with 26 on the season. Rebounds, Meek Black leads the category with 53. John Horn leads the steals category with 11. Tonight, the starting lineup for the Bengals. We've got, sorry about that. Hold on just a second while we get this figured out. Starting lineup tonight for the Bengals, we've got Matt Torres out there with Meek Black, Chris Smith, John Horn, and Noah Whistler. Noah Whistler just recently put into the starting lineup. Damone Darman had been starting, but now Whistler's out there. Torres has been making a huge impact from beyond the arc this season. Meek Black has been getting plenty of boards. And Chris Smith, also the sharpshooter, as well as a great finisher. So very good all-around players on the Bengals starting five. You're not gonna see, you know, a player that specializes in just one thing specifically. So we're looking for that tonight. So in just a second, we're gonna send it down to Bengals PA announcer, Mr. Matt Wilson, for tonight's starting lineup and introduction. I'm Patrick Lloyd, I'll be joining you for the rest of tonight in our varsity matchup. Super excited to be back with you in Truman Memorial Fieldhouse for our second live broadcast of the season. So we're gonna send it down to the floor for our starting lineups and introduction this evening. Safety of these athletes, protect them from injury and harm, and finally. 
up on your feet and let's meet your men and Benedictus! At forward, a six-foot junior from St. Aloysius, number 21, Mee Forward, a six foot three junior from Jesu, number 22, Noah Whistler. At forward, a six foot four junior from Jesu, number two, John Hall. Guard a 5'11 senior from NEO Prep, number three, Matthew Torres. And at the other guard, a 6'2 senior from Mayfield Middle School, number 11, Chris Smith. Coached by Mr. Chris Salas, he is assisted by Mr. Brian Watt, Francisco Santiago, Ron Frito, Terry Williamson, and Tian Nguyen. Your officials this evening, Bruce of the Mail Man Matthias, Adrian Foster, and Stephen Hyde. All right, thank you to Bengals PA announcer, Mr. Matt Wilson, for tonight's introductions. We are ready to get varsity basketball underway from the field house. Noah Whistler will tip it off. And we're underway. Bengals win the tip off. John Horn will start us off. Here's Meek Black. Gets it over to Chris Smith on the far side. Back to John Horn up top. Hands off to Black. Black will drive with his right. Jumper off the glass and in. 2-0, Bengals lead. Now it's Kalon Hurt for the Ironman and it's blocked by Matt Torres. Michael Duncan will inbound for the Ironman. A three on the way is no good, Matt Torres grabs it. Here comes Matt Torres the other way. Kicks to Meek Black, Meek Black thought about a three. Now he'll slow things down. Screen set by Whistler. Black will go to Horn. Horn thought about a three. Now he'll go to Chris Smith on the far side. Smith to Whistler up top. Whistler down low to meet Black. He'll kick back out to Smith for three. Oh, in and out. Rebounded by Deontay James. Here comes Michael Duncan the other way. Now in the corner, it was Josiah Knox. Now it's Kaylon Hurt up top. Guarded closely by Matt Torres. McCullough with it. Now here's Michael Duncan, guarded closely by Chris Smith. Bengals getting hyped up. Floater is up and off. 
Rebounded by Chris Smith. Here he goes the other way. Bengals in transition. Smith through the lane, puts it up and puts it in. Chris Smith. Bengals with an early 4-0 lead. Down low, tipped away. Bengals get it back. Matt Torres trips, able to pick it up. Matt Torres still going, laying it up and in. And the foul. Matt Torres with a chance for a three point play. Torres making his presence known early. He'll shoot one for the chance for three. The free throw is up and it is good. Seven nothing, Bengals lead early. Kalon Hurt takes it up for CCC. Guarded closely by Torres. Gets it to Michael Duncan on the left wing. Duncan back towards the middle. Duncan will drive through the lane, putting it up and it's missed. Rebound goes back to CCC. Michael Duncan will fire a three. He knocks it down, a big shot for the Ironman. Getting them on the board. Seven three, Bengals lead. Here's Meek Black. Guarded closely by Andre McCullough. John Horn up top. Goes to Matthew Torres. Torres up to Black. Black thought about a three. Now he'll wait back. He'll retreat. Meek Black drives with his left. Back with his right. Meek Black driving, kicking in the corner to Matt Torres for three. And we've got a... We've got a foul on Meek Black. It's going to go the other way. Bad news for all you Browns fans. I'm one of them, but the Texans have scored once again, and now it's 31-14. Not looking so good for Cleveland in the first round of the playoffs. Driving all the way to the basket, missed, rebounded, and put back up and in by Deontay James. Now Big Black. Guarded closely by McCullough. On the right wing, the far side. Big Black driving. It is right. He'll go down low to Smith. Smith kicks out to Torres for three. He knocks it down, Matt Torres. Ironman in, tr in transition. Michael Duncan goes to Andre McCullough up top. McCullough guarded closely by Black. McCullough goes all the way through. Couldn't get the roll. Rebound. And Josiah Knox gets fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot two. The foul is on number two, John Horn. It's his first, the team's second in the quarter. His first free throw is off. Jackson Stoltz checks in for the Bengals as well as Damone Darman. Meek Black exits as well as Noah Whistler. Josiah Knox's second free throw on the way. He missed them both. Rebound, Damone Dorman. Great job to rip it out of Deontay James's hands. Now he's got a jump ball as Damone was stuck on the ground with nowhere to go. Michael Duncan will inbound. He gets it into McCullough. McCullough trapped by Stoltz. McCullough now will try and drive baseline. Not able to do so. He has to go all the way back out to Kalon Hurt. McCullough driving, putting it up and missed it. Rebound goes to the Bengals. Torres over to Chris Smith. Smith tries to get in. Stoltz is going to grab it. Stoltz lost his dribble. Now he'll go back up top to John Horn. John Horn will drive with his left. He's blocked by Deontay James. It's gonna be out of bounds off the Ironman. Jackson Stoltz to inbound for the Bengals. Gets it into Torres. Torres working on McCullough. Now back to Stoltz. Stoltz to Chris Smith up top. Smith back to Stoltz. Stoltz on the left wing. Stoltz hands off to Torres. Travel on the play, Ironman ball. Yeah. 
Came on hurt. Gives to Andre McCullough. McCullough on the Bengals logo, guarded by Stoltz. McCullough kicks in the corner. Michael Duncan for three, missed. Rebounded by John Horn. 10-5, Bengals lead. 3.25 to go in this first quarter of action. Stoltz bringing the ball up to the Bengals. Makes a good move. Threw the ball away. Tried to toss it to Chris Smith, unable to do so. Meek Black and Mikel Bird now checking in for the Bengals. Chris Smith and Matt Torres will exit. Noah Whistler also checks in. Demo Darman exits. It's being talked to by Coach Santiago. We have a foul on the floor. It's on the Bengals. Folks, the Browns just threw a pick six, and I believe this one's just about over. In fact, I am turning it off. Michael Duncan kicks out to Loyal Foster now in the game. Shot is missed. Put back up, Deontay James, and it's 10-7, Bengals lead. Meek Black, guarded closely by Loyal Foster. In fact, so closely, a foul on the play. Seven, Bengals lead, 2.46 to go. Mikel Bird in back, uh, will take it up for the Bengals, excuse me. Meek Black on the far side in the corner. Goes up to Horn on the wing, down to Stoltz in the corner for three. He could not get the roll, unfortunate. Here comes Hurt. Hurt goes to Duncan. Duncan fires a three off the back of the iron. Rebounded by Stoltz. There goes Jackson Stoltz the other way, kicks to Horn. Horn down with a Bird. Bird with some room, back, retreats back out to the corner, and now up top to meet Black. Black lobs it down low to Horn, Horn puts it up, couldn't get it to go, Noah Whistler gets his own board, gets fouled, don't go to the line. The fouls on number 35, Deontay James, that's his first, the team's third, both teams with three fouls now, and they are both two away from achieving the bonus. Noah Whistler's first of two is good. Chris Smith checks back in. He'll take out Jackson Stoltz. Whistler's second of two. He's going to tuck in his jersey first. And he knocks both down. 12-7, Bengals lead. Kaylon Hurt. Working on Bird. Now it's Foster up top. Guarded closely by Horn. Now we have a traveling violation. Bengals ball. Horn to inbound to Bird. He's going to get it into Whistler instead. Whistler looking for Bird. Now he'll go back to Smith. Smith to Bird. Bird looking towards the middle now, up top. Back with his left. Throw, try to throw it down low to Smith. It's going to be off the iron and bang the ball. Mikel Bird to inbound. Gets it into Meek Black. Black goes to Smith for three. Missed it. Rebounded by Deontay James. Here goes Kaylon Hurt. Guarded by Bird. Now McCullough gets past Meek Black. And we're going to have a foul on Meek Black. 
So that's the Bengals' fourth of the quarter. That's Meek Black's second. Matt Torres re-enters, replacing Black. Black already in, uh, you know, a little bit of foul trouble, trouble, excuse me, with two early on. Foster to inbound, gets it into McCullough. McCullough on the left wing of our side. Drives with his left hand, kicks out. Now a three and away from Foster. Missed it. Rebound goes to CCC. Josiah Knox grabbed the rebound, hurt. Fired a three, missed it. Now it's gonna go out of bounds off the Bengals. Loyal Foster to inbound, he gets it in to McCullough. Andre McCullough up top taking his time, 1.10 to go in the quarter. Blocked by Matt Torres again. One oh six left to go. Cleveland Central Catholic will inbound again. Loyal Foster doing much of the inbounding here. Gets it in to KU on Hurt. Working on Bird. Drives in. Floater is no good. Bengals in, tra in transition. Bird goes to Horn. Horn down low to Whistler. Whistler trying to make something happen. Puts it up and puts it in. Noah Whistler with a nice move. 14-7. Bengals lead the Ironman. Looking to bounce tonight after a tough loss last night to Archbishop Hogan. Andre McCullough to Loyal Foster. Foster driving his right. Kicks out. Three on the way from Knox is no good. Tipped out of bounds. Bengals ball. 31-7. Thirty-one seconds left to go. Torres to inbound. Fires it over everybody. Now Kaylon Hurt with his right. Now with his left. Retreating back out towards half court. Guarded by Smith. McCullough working on Torres. McCullough with his left, drives through, floats it up, airballed it. Rebounded by Noah Whistler. Here come the Bengals the other way. Smith puts it up and puts it in. Chris Smith. That's the end of the first quarter from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. The Bengals start off hot with a 16-7 lead. I'd like to give you a reminder. Up next, we've got quite the slate of games here at the Fieldhouse. Next up, we've got Revere coming here on Tuesday. We are looking to do a broadcast of that one as well. And then St. Ignatius after that on Friday, also looking to be broadcasted. And then St. Edward comes to town the following Friday. That broadcast is on the table, but it is likely. So, plenty of action coming up uh, from home here. Revere, St. Ignatius, and St. Edward. It's gonna be exciting, man. Look, uh, a very good slate of teams, and we'll have to see uh, how the Bengals are able to perform. 16-7. Start of the second quarter from the field house. It looks like it's gonna be Bengals ball out of the gate. John Horn gets it in to Chris Smith. Here we go, second quarter of action from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Smith to John Horn, Horn lost the ball. And the Ironmen are gonna be able to grab it. Here's Andre McCullough, he gives to Kaylon Hurt. Deontay James working on Whistler, lost the ball. Mikel Bird grabs it, here comes Bird. Bird tried to go down low to Whistler and overthrew it. Kaylon Hurt. He's gonna go to 
Michael Duncan. Duncan drives, lays it up, and lays it in, and the foul. So Michael Duncan will go to the line and shoot one for a chance for a three-point play. Michael Duncan at the line for one, 16-9. It's off. Chris Smith grabs it. Goes up to Bird. Mikel Bird in the corner. Now Torres threw the ball away. Smith able to keep it in the Bengals half of the court. Mikel Bird waiting, working on Knox. Has Torres in the corner. He won't go there. Instead, he'll go down low to Smith. Smith with a floater. He got it. Chris Smith with a nice floater on the baseline. And that's 18-9 Bengals lead. Oh, almost a travel from Kaylon Hurt. Now Michael Duncan takes it, step back, jumper. One foot was inside the line, doesn't matter, he missed it. Nehemiah Seals grabs the rebound and gives to Bird. Mikel Bird across the logo, gives to Smith. Smith the whistler in the corner. Whistler back up to Torres. Matt Torres waiting. Torres with his left, goes down low to Seals put the ball on the ground. Now he'll give out to Smith for three. Missed. We haven't seen too many threes here this evening. We've already got a foul. Is that on Seals or Bird? It's going to be on Mikel Bird. That's the, that's the team's second, Mikel's first. 18 9. Bengals lead. Kaylon Hart takes it out. Her, guarded closely by Bird. Now it's McCullough on the right wing. Oh, there's a nice screen there by Deontay James. Now it's Foster driving in, kicks out to Hurt, thought about a three, now he'll drive in, take a jump burn, score! Came on Hurt with a nice pull up jumper and score. 18 11, Bengals lead. Mikel Bird trips and falls, and they're gonna have to get him with a travel. He slipped on the floor, and that's you know, just the reality of it. into the forecourt, now on the left wing. Hurt, lost his dribble, picks it back up. Now McCullough. Loyal Foster, guarded by Whistler. Foster drives through the lane, puts it up and puts it in. Loyal Foster, 18-13, Bengals lead. In the meantime, Hurt gets it back, puts it up and gets fouled. Kaylon Hurt will go back to the free throw line. The fouls are number 22, Noah Whistler. That's his first, the team third. CCC has no fouls right now in the second quarter. Bengals gotta watch out. Still five minutes left, already got three fouls. Don't wanna put them on the bonus too early. Hurt's first free throw is good. And he hits them both. 18-15, Bengals lead. Bird goes over to Torres. Torres with his left. Dumps down low to Seals. Seals lost the ball again. And we have a jump ball. Possession shows Central Catholic. And they'll get the ball back. Jackson Stoltz and John Horn check back in. Bird checks out as well as Noah Whistler. 18-15. Josiah Knox inbounds. Here's Kaylon Hurt working on Stoltz. James comes and sets a screen. Now it's McCullough. McCullough on the right wing, guarded by Torres. McCullough driving with his left. He's going to go all the way to the basket, couldn't get a roll. Now it's going to be rebounded, put back up by Foster. It hit the wire up above the hoop that uh, 
is responsible for lowering it and putting it back down. That is out of bounds, Bengals ball. Chris Smith is gonna inbound. And he finds John Horn. Horn to Stoltz. Stoltz had a lane, now her retreat, lost the ball, hurt, went out of bounds, Bengals ball. Smith to inbound. He finds Seals. Both teams still have all their timeouts. Nobody has used a timeout yet. Stoltz down with a Smith. Chris Smith on the far corner. Smith driving in, taking a spin around jumper, missed it. Seals tipped it, but it's still going to go to the Ironman. Now a jump stop. Score from Kaylon Hurt. And Kaylon Hurt is really controlling the game right now. Smith, 18-17, a one-point game, the Bengals lead. John Horn up top, gives to Torres. Torres with his left, goes over to Seals. Seals waiting, gives to Stoltz. Stoltz on the right wing. Stoltz now getting trapped, there's nowhere to go. And we're gonna have a Benedictine timeout. We'd like to remind you, you can pur purchase tickets for all upcoming Benedictine events at bengalsathletics.com slash buy online tickets. For basketball triple headers such as this one, adults are $8 online or $10 at the gate. Uh, double headers where it's JV freshmen, it's adults $3 online or at the gate. Students are free. Students are $5 for triple headers, I forgot to mention. Uh, same thing for hockey, uh, $8, 10 at the, or $8 online, 10 at the gate. Students, $5. Wrestling adults, $8 online, $10 at the gate. And Benedictine students are free. No refunds or exchanges unless the event is canceled or postponed. Tickets are required for all students and all adults at events where tickets are sold. No outside food or drinks are permitted in Benedictine athletic facilities. Freshman got to start it off right with a win. JV unfortunately came short. Varsity will be the decision maker this evening. Smith waiting. Chris Smith gives to Torres. Back to Smith. Smith stuck in the corner of the backcourt on the uh, sideline. Now it's Horn gives to Black. Black waiting. Now he'll retreat back out. 3.37 to go and he lost the ball. CCC ball. The refs are going to talk about something here. So it'll be CCC basketball with 3.36 left to go in a one point game. Knox gets it in to Kaylon Hurt. Torres is out there with Smith, Darmond, Horn, and Bird. Whistle on the play, we have a foul. The foul's on Chris Smith. That's Smith's second. Hurt across half court into the full court. Hurt waiting, he'll fire a three. He knocks it down. Kaylon Hurt gives CCC their first lead of the night. Now it's Smith. Chris Smith driving with his left. Fires a jumper and scores. Chris Smith ties us at 20. Kaylon Hurt fires another shot. That's not going to go. Unclear if it was a three or not. Hurt again. 
Kicks out to Michael Duncan. Duncan drives with his left block by Torres. They're gonna get Matt Torres with a foul. Matt Torres says that's all ball. So Michael Duncan's gonna go to the line and shoot two. first of two is good. CCC takes a 21-20 lead. Bryce Mateen checks in for the first time along with Meek Black, Bird, and Torres will exit. Michael Duncan, second shot of two on the way. Missed it. The rebound's gonna go to Damone Darman of the Bengals. Meek Black to Chris Smith. Smith crosses into the forecourt. Goes to Black, er, yeah, Black on the right wing. Or excuse me, the left wing. Now it's Mateen, he threw the ball away. Here comes Foster in transition, almost lost the ball, he'll go to Duncan instead. Couldn't get the roll. Now here's Meek Black. Black. Ball knocked away by Keon Hurt. Meek Black gets it into Chris Smith. Bengals trail by one. Smith down with him, 18. 18 for three. Airballed it. Black got the board, but he stepped out of bounds. Central ball. the majority of this game for CCC. We haven't seen very many other people bringing the ball up playing that point guard position. Michael Duncan on the right wing, guarded by Métis. Now it switches to Horn on Michael Duncan. Duncan kicks to the corner, knocks. Had to travel, Bengals ball. Timeout, CCC. Excuse me, there was no timeout there. The referee signaled for it, but... Now here comes Chris Smith. Smith, nice move. Down low to Darman. Darman couldn't catch it 100% clear. Now here's John Horn in the corner for three, and he hits. The Bengals take a 23-21 lead. Here comes CCC. Keelan Hurt, once again. Gets past Bird, goes down low to James. It's blocked by Tarman. Now a fight on the ground. What's the call? They're gonna say it's a jump ball. The Bengals have the possession and it'll go their way. Smith waiting. Worked on closely by Foster. And they're gonna get Loyal Foster with a foul here. Meek Black will inbound. Looking for Smith. He gets it into him. Smith will drive. Try to go all the way to the basket. He's gonna get fouled and Chris Smith is gonna go, gonna go to the line and shoot two. That's Loyal Foster's third foul in the team's third, although the Ironmen are on the bonus. So any Benedictine foul in the next minute and one second will be two shots for the Ironmen. Smith's first of two. Can't get the roll. Two 
Jackson Stoltz checks back in, checks back in for the Bengals. Chris Smith, second of two, is no good. He missed them both. Knox grabs the rebound for CCC. Here's Hurt. Kaylon Hurt takes his time taking the ball up. 49 on the clock. Michael Duncan on the right wing. Drives through the middle with his left. Floats it up and floats it in. We are tied at 23. And Mikel Bird on the ground, seemingly in pain. Meek Black comes to check in. Mikel Bird will exit. Black inbounds to Smith. 37 left to go. Smith in the backcourt. Up to Black, meet Black, goes to Horn. Horn up top. Lost the ball. Here comes the Cyanox all the way to the basket. And CCC takes a two point lead. Smith, 14 on the clock. Lost his dribble. On the ground, Meek Black's gonna be able to pick it up. And we have a whistle. Timeout, Bengals. Tickets are on sale now for the 22nd annual Blue and White Gala. It is a popular event for Bennington High School. One of our premier donation events and alumni events. So we highly recommend buy tickets. They will go quickly. Fires it up, and the ball got stuck on top of the hoop at the buzzer. So we'll have to get that one down, but it's halftime. From Truman Memorial Fieldhouse, the Bengals. Trailing the CCC Ironman 25-23. We'll be right back from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse after halftime for our second half of action.
Welcome back inside Truman Memorial Fieldhouse for what's shaping up to be a good one between the Benedictine Bengals and the Cleveland Central Catholic Ironmen. Taking a look at the first half of action, uh, the fouls there is incorrect, but other than that, the rebounds are pretty equal. The Ironmen have made more shots, uh, but it is very close as far as field goal percentage is concerned in the first half. For the Bengals, Chris Smith uh, leads them in points. And as far as like turnovers are concerned, Mikel Bird has two, John Horn has two, Jackson Stoltz has two, and Meek Black has two. That's not ideal for Benedictine so far. Gotta keep the turnovers down. That's been an issue so far for CCC. It's been Kaylon Hurt as well as Deontay James leading the charge for them. As well as uh, Andre McCullough and Josiah Knox making the biggest impact. Loyal Foster already in foul trouble so far. So. This is going to be a close one, we can tell already. The Bengals got off to a hot start in the first quarter, but it's been a tough second quarter for the Bengals. Now, they'll have to get that momentum back. We saw, this, we saw the same thing in the Shaw game. They're gonna have to get the momentum back that they started the game off with. That is extremely important. The other thing is we just need some shots to fall for us. That's been an issue early on. Just over a minute left to go in the halftime period. As far as the Browns update is concerned, I'm not sure that y'all don't want to even know. The Browns are, uh, I think it's safe to say, going to get eliminated. It is a bad score in Houston. So we're just about ready to get the second half of action underway from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Bengals trailing by two. But a good game shaping up. Finishes their halftime concert. CCC does a huddle. There's the Benedictine fight song. Let's get the second half of action underway from the true 25 23. Ironmen lead the Bengals. Josiah Knox inbound. Got to tuck in some jerseys and we are ready to get going. Knox will inbound to Hurt. Kagan Hurt with his left, goes up to Michael Duncan. Duncan with his right, he's also been making an impact. McCullough to Hurt. Hurt drives through the lane, kicks to the corner, Duncan thought about a shot, now he'll come through. Hurt in the corner. Bengals bench getting hyped up for the defense. Here's McCullough. McCullough driving, kicking to the corner. Hurt for three. It's off. And Bengals almost lost the ball. Good save by Chris Smith. Here's Black the other way in transition. Big Black driving to the hoop and scoring. Now here's Kaylon Hurt. The Ironmen in their navy blue jerseys with white lettering and red trim. The Bengals in their white jerseys with Columbia blue lettering and navy blue trim. Kaylon Hurt with his left. Now back towards the middle. Gives to Josiah Knox. Knox to McCullough. McCullough on the right side. McCullough waiting. Crosses. Now in the paint. He'll give back out to Duncan. Deep three. Way off. Chris Smith wanted a foul, and it's gonna be off the Bengals. Oh. 
Ref had to go down into the corner to get the ball. And let's get back underway. Michael Galka with one bound, and now we have another whistle. What's the deal here? I believe we have some arguing between it looks like Deontay James of CCC and Benedictine's Chris Smith. Some pushing and shoving going on in the mob of players waiting for the inbound play. Chris Smith laughing. And Deontay James also talking. That's, I believe, what was going on. Michael Duncan now, and we have a foul on the play. It's on Chris Smith. So that's the first Bengals foul of the third quarter. Duncan inbounds. And we have another foul. This time it's Mikel Bird. Gets it in to McCullough. McCullough to Michael Duncan. Duncan with his left. On the baseline, floater scores. 27-25. Central leads, Benedictine. Meek Black drives through now. Kicks out to Horn for three. Oh, just missed it. Rebound goes to Josiah Knox. Now here comes Kayvon Hurt, excuse me. Duncan fires a three. He missed it again. Rebound. Bengals grab it. Here comes Chris Smith with his left. Gets pushed up against the baseline. They're gonna get Michael Duncan with a foul. That's the team's first. Michael Duncan's first as well. Black to inbound. He finds Bird. Bird shovels to Smith. Smith working on Duncan. Smith crossover. Try to head toward the middle. Now two people on him. And he's just stuck. He is able to get out of there. Give it to Bird. Bird lost the ball. Bird tipped off CCC. And it's going to be Bengals ball. Bengals escape a jam. 27-25. Bengals trail here. Black amounts to McHelbert. Bird to Horn. John Horn. Now it's Meek Black. Whistler. Smith jumper scores. Chris Smith ties us at 27. Hurt gives to Knox. Knox through the lane. Putting it up, but couldn't get the roll. Now Smith, in. the Bengals in transition. Nice move. Smith all the way. He'll go coast to coast. Couldn't quite finish, and he threw the ball away. CCC ball. Okay, uh, excuse me, Josiah Knox will inbound. Here comes Hurt. He gets, finds Duncan. Duncan was open, but it's blocked by John Horn. Out of bounds. And they're going to get Horn with a foul, I believe. Yep, and they get him with a technical, I believe, as well for jumping and complaining about the call after the play. And that's exactly right. A technical foul on John Horn, so that's two fouls on Horn. So Kalon Hurt will shoot for CCC. His first shot is good. And his second technical free throw on the way. He hits them both. Knox inbounds to McCullough. CCC leads by two. McCullough with his left, driving through the lane, putting it up off the glass, missed. 
Here's Meek Black the other way. All the way down the floor, lost the ball again. Spin move by Hurt. Hurt goes down low. And Josiah Knox finishes it off. And like I said, at halftime, Bengals need the momentum. It's exactly the opposite right now. S Central Catholic has all the momentum right as we speak. Whistler, jumper, can't get the roll. Rebound, Garmin tried to get it. There's a jump ball, it's gonna go the Bengals way. It's gonna be Chris Smith inbounding for the Bengals. Smith, and they're gonna, they're gonna get the Bengals with a five second violation. Costly mistakes the Bengals are making right now, and they cannot let this game get out of hand. Kaylon Hurt taking his time. Driving with his left, waiting now. Going back out to Michael Duncan. And now Josiah Knox for three. And he hits. Timeout. Central Catholic. It's a full timeout. You can scan a QR code on your screen now to learn more about the Benedict Admissions Program. You can also email admissions at cbhs.edu to schedule a shadow day. Learn more about Benedictine High School and begin your journey to becoming a Benedictine Bengal. left to go here in the third quarter. Bengals now trailing by seven. Torres will inbound. He gets it into Chris Smith. Smith back to Torres. Torres on the far side. Dribbling with his left. Crosses over to his right. They're going to get Michael Duncan with a foul. CCC's second of the quarter. Stolt in the game now to Torres. Torres with his left. Goes to Darman. Darman spinning. Kicks to Stoltz for three. Way off. Hurt. Bengals in a tough situation here. Stoner by Whistler, he lost the ball. Out of bounds. Bengals having so much trouble as far as turnovers are concerned this evening. Kaylon Hurt. Floats it up. Deontay James, spin move down low, blocked by Noah Whistler. Foster to inbound, he gets it in to Duncan. Duncan driving with his right, kicks out to Hurt, thought about a three. Now he'll retreat back. 3.04 to go in the third quarter. Driving, floating. Missed. Rebounded by Matt Torres. Torres the other way now. Gives to Stoltz. Stoltz up top. To Torres. Torres. Good move now with his left. Try to go down with a Darman. Torres gets fouled.
shoot, but now Black on inbound, gets it to Darman. Darman waiting, he'll give to Whistler. Whistler to meet Black. Meet Black dribbling with his left. Pull up jumper, can't get the roll. Rebounded by Hurt. Hurt gives to Foster. Foster will drive with his right all the way to the basket. Puts it up and in, and he got Foul. No, it's going to be a charge. Damone Darman takes a charge. Bengals are going to get the ball back. That's the team's fourth, so now both teams have four fouls here in this third quarter. Back for the Ironman, it's number five, Andre McCullough. Loyal Foster will exit. Meek Black to inbound. Bengals trailing by seven. Gives to Whistler. Whistler to Stoltz. Stoltz almost lost it. Now he'll take it and give it to Black. Meek Black up top. Back to Stoltz on the far side. Stoltz gives to Black. Black will drive. Pull up jumper. Can't hit. McCullough. Smith, Bird, and Horn checking in at the sto scores table for Benedictine. Now here's Knox driving. Tipped, Bengals grab it. Here comes Black. Bengals in transition. Nick Black's gonna be fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot two. free throws at this point. And he missed the first one. Free throws are going to be very important. It's three points. Meek Black, second of two, on the way. And he missed them both. Darman's able to grab it, kick out to Black for three. He knocks it down. Meek Black with a huge shot for the Bengals. Makes up for the missed free throws, and we're within four. Hurt. Guarded closely by Mikel Bird. McCullough on the right wing. With his left back towards the middle. Now it's Hurt once again. He'll go back towards the middle. Crossover, now he's back on the right wing. Step back, almost lost it. He's going to able to get it back. Bengals bench, pleased with the defense. Kendall Sheffield in the game now. That's his first appearance. Now McCullough up top. McCullough driving with his left, putting it up and can't get the roll. Meek Black grabs it. He'll go to Smith. Chris Smith, spin move. Oh, he couldn't get the roll on the other side. Hurt. Taking his time, gives to McCullough. And they'll slow things down. 35 seconds left to go. Bengals trail by four. There's stalling time, they want the last shot. McCullough, driving to his left. Now he'll retreat back once again. Seven seconds left. McCullough driving with his left. Fell down, now kick out to Duncan. He'll take a bad shot. That's the end of the third quarter from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Bengals 30, Cleveland Central Catholic 34.
Benedictine just recently named a new head soccer coach. Coach Remy, I believe his name is pronounced Niveroski. Or at least that's what he told me. In the absence of Coach Step moving to South Carolina with his son Braden. Remy, an assistant coach of Benedictine, has now been named the head soccer coach. So congratulations to him. We're ready to get this fourth quarter of action on the way. Ironmen are going to start off with the ball. It's Josiah Knox, will inbound. Knox inbounds to Kaylon Hurt. Still eight minutes left to go. Bengals trailing by four. There's Deontay James now gives to Michael Duncan. Duncan working on Smith. Smith tightly guarding Duncan. And Bengals bench getting loud. Timeout, Ironman. game very tightly played so far. The Bengals had a real advantage, you know, coming into this one, but uh, we'll take a look at the line score here real quickly. First quarter, dominated by the Bengals, and then you see exactly the opposite in the second. Third quarter, Bengals lost by just two, and now it's the fourth that's been key. It's going to be key, excuse me, for the development of this game. McCullough gives to Hurt. Hurt on the right wing. Looking, dribbling with his left. Kicks to the corner, McCullough for three. Airballed it, Darman grabs it. Here's Meek Black, Bengals looking to grab the momentum here. That is key. Chris Smith, across, half court into the forecourt. Bird, horn to Black. Now to Smith. Smith, jumper, floater off the front of the rim. Rebound by Knox. Here's Hurt. And we have a foul on number four, Josiah Knox. It'll go the other way. Loyal Foster checking back in. McCullough will exit for CCC. Chris Smith inbounds. Smith will take the ball forward. 6.48 left to go. Bengals still trailing by four. No points scored in this fourth quarter so far. Meek Black, floater, missed. Out of bounds. Oh, it looked like it was off of the Ironman. It's going to be Ironman ball. Hurt. We'll bring it forward for CCC as he's been doing all night long. Knox. Hurt, once again on the right wing. Gives to Duncan up top. Has a wide stance on his shot, does Duncan. Now it's Knox, Knox drives into the paint. Duncan, out wide, driving back towards the middle, putting it up, blocked by Mikel Bird. Bengals trailing by four still. Has had many opportunities to put it in. Bird is blocked on the other end. Hurt down low, easy bucket for Deontay James. And the Bengals trying to do anything possible to get a shot to fall for them. Smith, cross half court, gives to Meek Black. Black driving to his left. Kicks out to Smith. Smith thought about a shot. Now he'll drive in, take a shot, and another miss from the Bengals. Hurt the other way. Fast pace and transition. Down low. Darman almost had a block. Now he'll kick it out to Duncan. Michael Duncan gives to Hurt. Oh, 
and they're gonna get a foul on the Bengals. And they're gonna get Mikel Bird with a foul. Bengals been disagreeing with a lot of the calls here today. Iron middle inbound, it's Foster. Floats it up to McCullough. Five, just over five minutes to go. Bengals down six. Hurt, jump stop gives to Knox, back to Hurt. Hurt driving with his right, putting it up, miss. Rebounded by Darman. Bengals, fast pace in transition. Smith forced to stop up. Now Horn kicks to Smith. Big three on the way. Can it? Here come the Ironmen. McCullough to Knox. Three second violation on the Ironman. It's going to be Bengals ball. Noah Whistler checks back in for the Bengals. Matt Torres as well. Bird and Smith out there with Horn still. They've got their shooters out there. They need some shots to fall for them. Smith, jumper, can't hit. Hurt. Waiting. Driving with his right. Jumper. Off. Rebound goes to Matt Torres. Bengals have gotten so many stops, they just need to get shots to fall on the other end. Only two points scored in the whole quarter. John Horn is able to score. That cuts it to four point. Timeout, Benedictine. So with three minutes, just, just under four left to go here. Bengals still trailing by four. It's been tough for the Bengals here. After the first quarter, they just have had so much trouble getting anything really to fall. The point totals have not been high uh, past the, the first quarter. They had, eight, they had 18 points in the first quarter. They have not even scored 18 in the following two and a half. Gonna be a big three minutes and 46 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Knox will inbound for the Ironman. Josiah Knox, he's played meaningful minutes. So has Hurt. Hurt, I don't know if he's even gotten out of the game yet. Hurt drives, got stuck. He'll have to retreat back out to Knox. Knox to Foster. Foster back to Knox. Only four total points scored in this quarter, two from each side. Hurt, guarded very closely by Stoltz. Now it's down low to Deontay James. Guarded by Horn. Traveling violation, Bengals ball. 3.23 to go, down four. Gotta get the shots to fall, gotta take smart shots. Mikel Bird and Meek Black checking back in. Stoltz will exit along with Matthew Torres. Chris Smith gives to my, or excuse me, Meek Black. Smith. Waiting, goes back to Black. Black up top. 3.06 left to go. 
Black driving with his left, all the way through, kicks the horn in the corner for three. Oh, in and out, how did that not go? Bengals able to save it. Mikel Bird driving, goes to Smith. Thought about a three, now he'll drive baseline, floater. He scores! There's a foul on Josiah Knox. So 34-36, now Benedictine also with the ball. Gets it into Black. Benedictine with a chance to tire, take the lead. Smith for three. Hey! Knocks it down. Chris Smith with a huge shot, and the Bagels have retaken the lead. Three to go. Hurt on the right wing. Gives to McCullough. McCullough up top. Driving with his left. Kicks to Duncan for three. Air ball. Whistler grabs it. Here's Bird. Bengals on a breakaway. Mikel Bird lays it up and in. Bengals take a 39-36 lead. There's the momentum I was talking about at halftime. Talking about at the quarter break. Duncan up top, driving with his left, puts it up, and he scores. We're back within a one-point game. 150 to go. This is exciting, folks. Here we go. Buckle up. Meek Black makes a move. Now he'll kick to Bird in the corner. Guarded very closely by Duncan. Gets out of there. They're gonna get Michael Duncan with a foul. So Meek Black's get inbound. 134 to go. Bengals leading by one in a very low scoring varsity basketball game. The freshmen have scored more than JV and varsity so far. John Horn jumper. Yo, could not get the bounce. Here's Michael Duncan the other way. Hurt, thought about a three. Now go to Duncan, wide open three. Missed it again, Michael Duncan with another missed three. Now a floater, CCC takes the lead back with one 13 to go, 40-39, Meek Black, timeout Benedictine. Bengals finally getting things to fall, but is it too late? This is going to be an intense last minute and seven seconds. Buckle up, we've got a good one on our hands. Bengals trail by one with the ball. Black will inbound. He gets it into Chris Smith. Chris Smith on the left wing. Making moves, almost lost it. Now he finds a lane, puts it up, puts it in! Chris Smith! Bengals lead 41-40, 52 to go. Chris Smith threw up a prayer and it fell. Hurt, Bird tripped, Bengals steal it away. Full court pass, Mikel Bird lays it up and in. Bengals lead by three. 37 seconds to go, that's huge. Here comes Michael Duncan in transition, lost the ball, Bengals ball. 32.6 to go. 
Wow! Unbelievable! How about that sequence of events? Kendall Sheffield re-enters for Central Catholic. Bengals lead by three with the ball, 32.6 to go. Smith fires in full court to Meek Black. He gets fouled. Meek Black's going to the line. Two huge free throws incoming for Meek Black and the Benedictine Bengals. 30.8 seconds left to go in regulation time. The Central Catholic fouls on number 23. We don't have him roster. Meek Black's. First free throw is off. So it will remain a one possession game. Second free throw coming up next. Michael Duncan and Loyal Foster checking back in for the Ironmen. Matthew Torres checks back in. He's at the scores table. And he missed both free throws. Duncan gets the rebound. He stepped out of bounds! He stepped out of bounds! Bengals ball! And CCC head coach Michael Duncan very unhappy with the call. Meek Black to inbound. 28 seconds left. Bengals lead by three. CCC needs a stop. They get it into Whistler. Whistler to Smith. Smith driving with his right. Kicks out. Now it's Meek Black. Black gets fouled. Meek Black will go to the line and shoot two. Redemption opportunity here and to put the game potentially out of hand, creating a two possession game. The Ironmen still have three timeouts left, and that's key. The Bengals have one. Kendall Sheffield checks back in for the Ironmen. Meek Black, two big free throws coming up once again. The Shaw fans making noise. He got it! Meek Black with a huge free throw, and it's 44-40. Second one coming to make it a five-point Bengal lead. He hit them both! Huge free throws from Meek Black. Two possession game, Bengals lead by five. 16 seconds left to go, hurt the other way. And it's a carry, Bengals ball, 15.2 to go. What a sequence of events. They inbound to Smith. Smith kicks out to Meek Black. Black is eventually going to get fouled. He'll go to the line now and shoot two. 45-40. Meek Black for two big free throws could put the game out of reach. A three possession lead. And he hits the first. If he hits the second one, that will do it for this game. The Bengals would improve to five and six. The Ironman dropping to six and six. And Meek Black got it. So the Bengals are gonna come out victorious tonight, hurt the other way. Just for good measure, it's Bengals ball once again. Head coach Michael Duncan, very unhappy. Technical foul on head coach Michael Duncan. That's gonna do it.
What a game. What a game. Bengals came out in the first quarter, dominated, then fell behind, trailed until the late in the fourth quarter. And they have not looked back. Meek Black's gonna shoot the technical free throws for Benedictine. First of two is good. 48-40, Bengals lead with 5.2 left. They're gonna win. And he hits the second, 49-40. And they'll just dribble out the clock. Some clutch shots from Benedictine late in this one. Really propelling them. And quite the comeback from Benedictine this evening. Gets it in to Chris Smith. He'll do with the clock out. The Bengals win. Final score. Benedictine 49. Cleveland Central Catholic 40. What a game from the field house here this evening. We'll take a look at some of the final statistics from this one. Obviously the final score, 49-40. The fouls is what the fourth quarter represented. That's key. Fourth quarter. Those fouls racked up for CCC. Rebounds, the Bengals just edged out the Ironman 26-21, and then the shooting almost exactly even uh, with the Bengals just taking one more shot. Meek Black shot the most free throws for the Bengals tonight, that's for sure. Chris Smith led the Bengals in scoring. Matt Torres led the Bengals with three blocks. And Bird, Horn, Whistler, and Darman all recorded the block. That's huge. And rebounds led by Darman this evening. We'll set it down to the floor for the alma mater. this evening they take down Cleveland Central Catholic by a final of 49 to 40. Plenty of people on our crew to thank first of all freshman play-by-play -play announcer Emerson White, our director and switcher Brian Devers, audio as well as statistics Brandon Love, scoreboard and graphics Matthew Lloyd, cameras Will Milan, Teddy Johnson, Will Lloyd and John Queener and on photo Aaron Sharpley, DeAndre Taylor and also special thanks to Nate Queener. That's all we have for you this evening from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Once again, the final, 49-40. The Bengals victorious once again here at home. So with that being said, Bengals win at home 49-40. So long, everybody.